Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. I'll have to see what's wrong with stream elements another day. As it looks like we have two new followers, so sorry, Deidre90 and Luis HMS. For the follows, but no ability to play alerts for you. I'll see if I can get that resolved. Put that on my list of things to do. Yeah, the last follower was 18 days ago, but we've had many since then. So I think with that chat, we're gonna go ahead and try to beat Etna mode. I'm still not sure what to expect. I didn't take a look ahead. So this is now going into the blind portion of the playthrough. So I guess wish me luck there. I don't have any big plans other than I know some breakdowns for hospital items if I really need it. But I think for the most part, I should be done with promotion exams, if nothing else. So hopefully we could just go straight into things. Yeah, I potentially want Kirk to hit weapon level 10 at the end of the chapter. We'll see if that's doable, though. Let's go to the Sea of Gehenna, where I believe she's looking to make soup or something? I can't recall what she mentioned last time. Let's see if the game explains when we go to Fervent Me Melody. Oh, it's so freaking hot! We should just give up and go back, dude! Are you nuts? We can't go back now! You lame brain! Do you really think we came all this way just to get soup? Wouldn't be the first time, dude! So what's your secret plan? It wouldn't be a secret if I told ya! Just shut up and obey my orders. I just might treat you guys to some soup if you do. You're really cheap, dude! Anyways, let's hurry up and find what we're looking for. If I remember right, it should be hidden somewhere around here. I think in the beginning, she mentioned, or one of the printies mentioned hiding her snacks. I wonder if that's going to be the big secret. Ooh, experience up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a fun little combo. So I think I want to merge these together and then just one shot. should be fun, actually. I thought about if I wanted to throw in a different order. But I don't think it matters. Now he's injured enough that I could hit him with spells, for example. I think I'll do. Let's see how much this weakens him. Okay. That'll help. Let's see if Calvisham lives. I'd prefer to get one more healing item if I could. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have star attacked there. I think that was a misplay on my part. Unfortunate. The problem is I just don't know the range of his attacks. I'm tempted to start over because I messed that up. Because damaging him could potentially remove like almost 2,000 health from him. But I don't think I could get the kill here. So I'm, we'll restart depending on if the boss is able to hit me. It's, or, <laughs> it might as well as be a boss. I called it a boss. But we'll see. Because Calvisham is very likely to die here. And that's fine if he has to die for the cause, quote unquote. Sure, just to do as best I can with buffs here. I don't super care about the XP yet, but I think for the final ones I want to do it. So I'm gonna get it. Oh, out of range. I want to see how easy it is or not easy it is to kill them. Sorry, Calvisham, you might have to die for the cause. Hopefully, you're doing well. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, let's end turn and see what happens. 
I need to get an understanding of how these things attack. Oh, walk backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're definitely resetting. We can't have that. Ah, that's fine. Welcome to Parameter. So I think the right play, because their health is pretty high, what I should have done is do this. Introduce them to Gigastar. That is a lot of SP to do. What the heck? Oh, that did like no- Wait, what? Oh, hold on, hold on. Why do they suddenly have a thousand resistance? Hold on, are their stats random? Wait a minute. That is so rude. I did not know that. I thought they had set stats. What the heck was that? So you're telling me just randomly they could just have a thousand resistance? What? What? <laughs> what? I mean, that kind, of, chat, that kind of makes a difference in my strategy. I did not know that was random. What? I know. I'm like, oh no, are we going full Fire Emblem on what is it, insane mode? I don't want it. I don't want any of that. <laughs> like, what the heck is that? No, thank you. It's just. Well, welcome, Poro. But yes, they randomly just had double stats. I I went to do the same thing, and this one had more than double resistance. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not going to kill them if that happens, I guess. Cute, I guess. All right, let's do something like this. <laughs> Your favorite? Exactly. Okay, any other BS I should know about before I attack them? Okay. Let's see how much damage Chris does. Man, they really take, like, no damage for some reason. Alright, so that's much better overall. Technically, I can even wound them a bit more. I wonder if it's worth it. Like, I could just punch them with Rogue Nine. It's worth it. I was like, you do not want to get in the counter war with Rogue Nine. That is a battle you will lose. Much better. Each out. It's almost like when they don't have insanely stupid resistance, I'm able to kill them. So that's something that we're going to have to keep in mind. Hopefully the bosses aren't like that. That would annoy me very greatly if that is the case. So I should be able to one-shot now. This should be much more doable. Now if I want to, I can even throw them into each other. Although, standing here blocks the passageway. That's fine. Yeah, chat, look at the dim- look at the health difference. When I did this earlier, this was at 6,000. Yeah, he's not even at 2k now. Chat, whatever. On <laughs> those random stats, whatever. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if I need to buff at all to kill him. I mean, I probably will, because it makes sense to do. Actually, what makes more sense to do? Let's think ahead a little bit. I need to apply some buffs. So we'll spare Calvisham this time. I guess it makes sense. Kill Calvisham, lose game. The ultimate punishment. Um... Well... On the slim chance I can't one-shot this, I will go to max power. So very likely Gonna Die is gonna die, and Gonna Bite It is probably going to die as well. Now the rest of these people, I probably want to come over here. So we didn't get to see how they reacted before. I don't know if it's a proximity thing, because some enemies only move when you get close to them. Some of them automatically move forward. Like this guy might not move, for example. That guy might not move. But it's very likely these people are going to come towards us no matter what. We'll see, though. Yeah, suddenly that was much more doable. I, I barely changed the strategy at all. That was much easier. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, just one. That's fun. Hmm. So we have a wall of enemies approaching us. I don't think I like that. 
question is, what do I want to do about it? I don't need this many mages. Rogue Nine can help a little bit here. So I could throw them with Kirk. One, two, three, four. I could stand here, one, two, three, and merge them? Also, I've noticed they're level 110. Oh, so I don't even have to merge them anymore. They're actually just, as long as I kill them on the bonus tile, I get more money. Um, let's go for it, I guess. I don't need to give Kirk more XP at the moment. I mean, I could just make a super one, but... Eh. Uh. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need our mages to be as strong as possible. Oops. I want to make sure I did magic boost there. I'm so used to using Braveheart. Alright, so does any of them have stupid resist that I should know about? Yes, one of them does. Okay. So as long as this one can't reach me, which it probably will, I have one enemy that I can choose not to move. Ooh, my... Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Well, let's find out, I guess. Ice... I don't want to Gigastar them, but I don't have enough SP. Uh... Oh, you know what I could do? I could stand here to block them. Because Kirk is not very likely to die here. Even though they have attack up, he's not very likely to die. The only thing I need to do is move Imperimeter a little closer. Probably have Chris somewhere like over here. I don't want to line up because they seem to have a lot of line attacks, but this should probably be fine. Oh, he doesn't have Giga Ice. That is so sad. What's the next thing we can do? Fire? Uh, it's not gonna do it. Hmm. I might need to move in parameter further. I like how long range his uh, attack is. So, just out of curiosity, I do something like this. How much damage is. Oh, it's almost enough to one shot. Okay. Then if I hit weakness, it should do a lot of damage here. In hindsight, I should have moved Kirk last. So what I'm going to do for now... I'm going to lift him out of the way. And put him back. <laughs> I love Chris gaining like a million levels. Let's... I guess if I don't think I'm gonna die, what I could try to do is do a multi-heal. Something like that. Oh. That hits pretty far away, I'm not gonna lie. The other character dying doesn't matter. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm surprised they hit my rogue out of that. Uh, so what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to retreat the army. I don't want them to target anybody other than Kirk. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to lure them away for a little bit. See what happens. I should still be able to clear this. It's just going to be annoying. They hit each other. I got bad news for them. I should get a kill here. We lost our damage dealers, but that's fine. As long as I have one, that's all I need. Should put me back at max power. Oh no, I'm one shy. I'm going to spread them out a little more in case I can't one-shot. Oh, 
There we go. Well, fortunately, the more I kill, the more my stats go up. So all I need to do is just keep them sort of healthy, and we should be fine. That... That's not what I wanted to do. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think that matters. I went to menu, but I hit the confirm a little too quickly. Um... That soup is okay. I don't think I want to heal yet. What we're going to do is... Come forward. Well, we'll see how much proficiency Kirk ends up getting. Oh, interesting. They didn't target him. Well, in that case... So yeah, some of the enemies are just randomly extremely tanky, and that kind of throws off my game plan a little bit. Not gonna lie. So fortunately, we have a character that can kind of deal with some of this BS, at least. Case in point. Thank you, Kirk, for stepping up and dealing with this BS. So he can take a couple hits. And the more he attacks, the better off he's going to be. So now what I want to do is ensure he is at full health. Because he's probably going to have to tank a hit or two. We're going to maintain the Braveheart buffs by just having a chain of buff characters follow him. So fortunately, we did get Chris a level. We need to get Imperimeter with a level at some point. I would have liked for Imperimeter to have lived, but it's not the end of the world if he dies. Oh, they normal attack me? That's foolish. Yeah, that was fool- And that that's why that's a bad idea. So fortunately, I'm just going to get tankier and tankier, so as long as I don't go within melee range of the other characters, I should be good. So we're taking advantage of the fact that they're proximity-based sensors. That's why the enemy isn't moving. Waiting for me to make the first move. Unfortunately for them, my first move is really good. <laughs> they're not getting another move if I get a turn. So I'm like, I dare them. Let's see if they come towards me. Oh, they didn't. Well, that's what we call foolish. Well, on the plus side, I'm getting proficiency up with staffs. Thanks to the 50% attack, I could do a ton of damage on this tile. Oh, you normal attack me? Goodbye. <laughs> right, chat? Well, I guess Kirk is gonna get closer and closer to 100 as we speak. Can he reach that with one cutter? Oh, hell yeah, he can. Oh, chat, I think this is GG. So I killed some of the enemies on the XP tiles. As I said before, once they start getting above level 100, it doesn't matter anymore if you merge them, due to how XP works. I could merge them for money, don't get me wrong. I mean no target. Oh, wrong ability. I was gonna say, get out of here. Target height problem, get out of here. Hmm. I'm gonna move over here and then heal myself. I shouldn't be able to die from this. And I should be able to reach him now. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Cool. There we go, chat. We got through in the end. 37 XP. That is kind of not worth it for where we are in the game. Hmm. We're gonna restock healing, because I want to make sure I'm not in a weird scenario where we're fighting, like, Flan and she's surrounded by, like, 5 million people. And I just die. But I think otherwise, we're doing okay. It is kind of unfortunate to learn very late in the playthrough their stats are ultra-random. I mean, like, I understand if there's, like, some variance, like, they're between, like, 400 and 600, but between, like, 400 and 1,000 is too wide of a range. I don't know what they were thinking. Oh, I got excited. I thought they said 107 in. Ooh. Actually. Actually, I think I want this. I think that's a big upgrade for me. It is if I get rid of Sophia's mirror. Hmm. Do I want to, though? I actually find the resistance more useful right now. So I got another melee belt. 
Hmm. I don't really have another melee character to put it on. I'll hold on to it for now. Eventually, I need to equip our monster companions when we're done with the challenge with belts. So if I actually get good ones now, it's good for me overall. Looking to see if there's any other weapon I can get that's actually good. That is really strong, but it's not strong enough to justify the price. I think I need to get like the 3.4 mil one. Kind of unfortunate. Is there anything else I want to do? Chris is now level 30. So he beat Imperimeter by a lot of levels. So now we just need to feed them kills, which might get increasingly hard. So we'll continue where we are for now. Wasteland of Woe. Oh, straight into the stage. Silence enemy boost. Um. Oh no. The random stats chat. Hmm. Ooh, XP 50% though. Ooh. How many people do I... Might be in trouble. How many people do I sacrifice to the cause is the question. So I need to go up here. Don't think he could survive getting hit by that many people. I almost wish I made a cleric to get shield. Almost. Right, this is gonna feel super bad because I can't cast any spells while on the while on this route. I. Let's see what happens. Can I survive a turn? Oh. Those guys moved, but these didn't? Oh. Right, chat? Oh. That kind of makes a big difference. I mean, listen, chat. If they don't want to move, if they just want to be in the scenery, I'll go... Mm -hmm. Okay. I would have thought, like, the, the ambush would have happened on me. So we definitely need to get rid of silence and enemy boost. I could geo clear, but there's no point because the stage reward is garbage. In fact, let me... I mean, like, I'm definitely in range of them, right? I'm within three steps. There's no way they wouldn't have targeted me. Alright, we're gonna try to remove silence so I can cast buffs from full screen. That's more what I was expecting. So many long range attacks. I think this works. Let's find out, chat. Oh, I can actually heal from quite a distance away. Let's do that then. Hell yeah. <laughs> right, chat? There we go. Survivability up. So now let's start building some super mages. So we know they have a really big reach, so the only safe spot is to go where they just came from. We're gonna have... I'm just so scared I'm gonna get hit randomly by their nonsense. Can't quite see your full range. I'm assuming if I go here, I will not get hit by anything. It doesn't look like I line up. Like, he would have to come here. I don't think he could reach that tile, right? I really wish I could see this without activating that. He cannot stand on the tile that's there. Okay, that's actually important to know. And then I can have... This is character assist. So now we just need to whittle them down at a distance. I don't care if I lose some mages. So, for example, I can have a decoy block the path like this. I can afford to lose, like, one unit a turn. I don't think, like, that's too crazy. And because she's blocking, I should be able to very safely do this. We can see their ints are, like, 1,400 or so, but we need them higher. All right, so now we got some decent int. Let's see if we could get a kill for Imperimeter. Ice. I don't know if I could reach that far with ice. Barely can't.
All right, we need to, we need to level up his abilities like pretty much ASAP. I'll take any damage on any target here. So it didn't quite kill, but that's fine. We just gotta whittle them down. Fire, weak to ice. How did how did that not kill, chat? How did it not kill? <laughs> so close. Oh well. Well, I guess to prepare for the future, let's get another magic boost in there. In fact, let's get another magic boost in there. And now they should be able to one shot. And I can use the ninja to keep the protagonist alive. But yeah, this is suddenly uncontrolled chaos. Oh. I... What is your attack? Wait, hold on. Your attack... You can hit like this? Oh. That's kind of annoying. I thought you had to line up like this to hit me like that. Hmm. That's a little bit of a problem. How annoying. Do I reset on that? I think I do. Huh. So definitely Edna mode with them having more range is much harder than the standard campaign. Just because it's kind of hard to tell, like, visually, whether or not they can reach. Like, I thought for sure I was out of range. So I think what I want to do then is I'm going to mix up my strategy. We're going to go for... Oh, lifting isn't banned. Oh, I was dumb. I did that a dumb way. Let me do this instead then. I could pick this up and just throw it rather than overthink it. Yeah, let's do that. That makes more sense. And now with my buff range, before anybody moves, I should start applying some buffs. Because I know I'm out of range right now. This, I know they have to take multiple steps to reach me. But I do have to respect the fact that they hit like an insano distance from me for no reason. Oh, I put Parameter over there. I wanted Parameter and Chris to be next to each other. So I want to start buffing them a little bit. I can use the base to hide them if I need to. Which is what I'm probably going to end up doing. Now what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to immediately Braveheart. So that way he should be able to one-shot everything. Change of plans. For two brave hearts. Go for three brave hearts. Go for four. Uh, have Chris magic boost himself to save some time. Wish I had one more mage. If if RJ Chaos hit level 12, I think it would be perfect. I think it should be fine. I mean, if they want to hit him, he's got insane stats. So the problem that we had before is that the enemy was able to reach the enemy boost, but now they can't because I can lift this. So suddenly they're doing three times less damage. <laughs> right? Like, that's, that's kind of a big difference. Like, them doing triple to me was kind of insane. We're wondering why it took like 1800, it's because they got triple boosted. Okay, are your stats not as stupid? Okay, you're weak to wind. I think Frost is fine where he is. We could use her to boost as needed. I could technically put the XP up there next turn. What's our magic scores looking like? 2400? I don't think that's good enough to kill. It feels like it should be, but I know it's not. Um, I can move him over here. I can remain here. Alright, I'm gonna move Chris's character over here. Let's hopefully get this kill. Then we should be fine. If this kills, we're fine. Or can I not reach? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, that time we were able to reach. Yeah, what a, what a difference, chat, in damage already. So then what we're going to do is keep the Braveheart bonus on him. You know what? I'll do one more magic boost. So now they have decent stats. 
So the two of them should be able to two-shot everything. That's a little unfortunate it killed one of them. Again, they... I was kind of hoping that wouldn't kill, but I guess it makes sense that, you know, they're still leveling up. This is still fine, though. I'll tell you why this is fine. Every other enemy is now ignoring this character. So close. So what I could do now is... We call this the peekaboo strat. Like, oh... Oh, were you coming to help this, go fight my helpless mages? Oh, oh, that's a shame. They're not there anymore. You just wasted your turn. What a shame. <laughs> right, chat? What a shame. I'm not over there. Hmm, let's see. Unfortunately, they split up a little bit here. So this is where it gets a little tricky. I need to make sure he gets several kills here. I think what I need to do is... I can afford to sacrifice one character. We need to make sure he lives, so we're just gonna toss a chocolate. And then we're gonna blade rush this, I think makes the most sense. Now they should come back towards the middle, or never mind, they're all going towards him anyway. This is fine. Oh, they got an ally kill. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. So... We're in kind of a weird position. I think what I want to do is... Oh, if these guys weren't here, that'd be fine. But I can't cross the gap by myself. I guess I could have thrown two people over here if I really need to retry. I shouldn't need to retry. I think I could still salvage this. I need this guy, like, way over here, though. It's like slightly too weak, he didn't get the one shot. Please don't kill each other. Oh. No, that deprives me experience. I need the XP. So sad when that happens, chat. So the problem now is we're fighting basically mages for no reason. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Okay, same strat as before. I think I just need to commit people to the board at this point, unfortunately. Wait, did Chris's int not go down because he was in the base? Wait, is that a thing? Hmm. Because I don't think I can one-shot them. I can lift this guy to spare myself getting hit, but then I'm probably going to get hit by long-range BS anyway. I'll try it. But yeah, this this is a ma this is already like a massive difficulty increase compared to the last stage. But this is definitely rough. I'm not going to lie. Like, the fact that we were fighting level 80s and now everybody's 110 plus and they have like super random stats kind of blows. No, I didn't want to end turn there. Now I might need to reset. That was a player error. I went to special, but I menu too quickly. That was very unfortunate. If I could get rid of these guys, I think I win. But the problem is I have to get rid of these guys. I don't think the blade people matter. It's more these stupid tree stumps. Yeah, the tree stumps just do too much damage to me. Unfortunately, going for the solo run. I didn't want to, but I messed up on an input, so I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Man, I wish I didn't end turn there. I was so close. If I had just done the normal attack there, I would have been fine. So here's... Okay, so new, new plan. These guys are the problem. It's, it's the tree stumps. I don't care about the sword people. They don't do enough damage. It's these idiots hitting me for like 700 damage full screen because kirk is getting hit even though he has 900 plus defense and still basically dying to it instantly so the problem is like how do i protect 
How do I protect this? Maybe what I could do... Actually, we know Calvisham should probably be fine. Let's summon... Gonna bite it. And you know what? I'll have Rogue Nine go in. This might actually work. So if I could get rid of the silence here, this is the problem number one. So now I just have to not let them touch the red tiles, which I think I can do. With the idea being that I just hard focus the side that moves. The question is, can I hit any of them earlier? Let's double check our movement here. Can I kill them early? I can. Okay, that's actually a game changer. All right, so we know they're going to try to come over to me or do something that I don't want them to do. But we also know I have a turn to set up, which means that in this turn, I need to make every single move here count for a lot. And we know these other people are also not going to move right away. I wonder if I could snipe them and just chip them out a little. I want to make sure Gansel's really far away. Hopefully he doesn't get hit here. Damn, I needed like one more buffer. We're use Braveheart on you. All the Bravehearts that we can here. I want to put Kirk to basically 4,000. I think this might be good enough. Even if it doesn't kill, I just need them to wound. Okay, I did kill, which is huge. Now I can use the remaining points to magic boost. And see if I can poke any of this out. So yeah, the problem more is just that they are just so highly damaging right now. How are they just barely out of range? That's so sad. I need more staff proficiency chat. Alright, let's let's do what we can. Hit the middle guy, he's weak to ice. Give it a shot. Almost got a kill. Yeah, if I had one more magic boost, I think that would have worked. So in theory, I could try to level RJ Chaos somehow. Because if he gets magic boost, then I'm not in this situation where I'm splitting damage. Alright, let's see if this works. If the bottom right doesn't move, we're good. Perfect? Okay, so I think I've solved it now, because I have a way of actually killing these enemies, unlike before. So now it feels like a puzzle, because the difficulty has gotten so high. So we can afford two Brave Hearts here. There should be a max damage. So now I just need to make sure that they absolutely, without a doubt, die here. And that's fine. You know what? If this is where they want to go, then I just retreat this character. I move this character over here. So they're out of range. So nobody's in range. I can take up the enemy boost. And throw it to slow them. I could put it here to slow them down. In case they want to take the stairs. And now there's no enemy boost at- Oh, I should have thrown that before I did that. That's why they lived. That's fine though. I don't think this matters. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply another magic boost. And then let's give the kill to probably Imperameter. That way his stats can catch up a little. There we go. So we managed to feed Imperameter a kill, which is huge. He went from like level 12 to 25. So that's a almost 200 in increase by itself. So we've already chipped out one of the more annoying enemy types. This is going much better than before already. And we can move away from the enemy. Move in parameter. Probably back as well. Back once. Maybe back here. And just Omega Ice, whatever we can. Let's get them out of here. I'm gonna move Fritz back one more space. Oh, I had one more buff. Damn, that sucks. Well, if they somehow live, I might as well just buff them. They should be ready for a big turn next time. 
So now they're moving. Oh, they could hit both of them. That's unfortunate. All right, so for now, I just need to brave hard and start killing these enemies pretty much as soon as possible. Oh, I can't move them. All right, the game will the game will complain to me. So we're gonna hide our characters. Interestingly, this character got ignored. Hmm. Do what we can. We need to make sure we kill at least one of these. Okay. So we're already down a whole lot of them, which is good. The problem are these attacks. So it's like, I just don't have an AoE yet with Kirk, which I think is also a problem. Do something like this. Reduce his health by a lot. <sighs> Try to get Calvisham to survive a turn, maybe? Okay, I'm at least weakening them a bit. So there's a couple that I maybe can kill. Wow, that just straight up did too much damage. Hmm. I think I definitely need to keep a buff up. So let's try to get a long... Oh, they killed my best buffer. That's annoying. I don't know if I can hit that range with these other characters. Oh, wait. I think Tri's going to save the day on this one. Now I have three people lined up. I managed to kill one, which is big. Uh, This should be fun. So if we could just kill a few more of these, they'll be fine. Oh, they did a normal attack? This is actually huge. That does no damage compared to their other, other attacks. They killed one of their own, which was dumb. I might actually kill on a counterattack here, as long as I don't die. Just like... Barely alive. Uh, man, oh man, if Kirk had an AoE, how easy this would be. Pull him away. Oh, we're so close, chat. No! I, oh, I hate that when it doesn't... Oh, I hate that so much. Why does it do that? It did not take my input for a second. That might have cost me the run. <laughs> I hate that so much, chat. I go to select the item, and sometimes my finger is still on the X button, so it double input. Although, surprisingly, they kind of killed themselves here. So if I could just get rid of these last two, is that it? Are those the... Okay, so I only have two snipers left. This is actually huge. So I can... Probably Hurricane slash you from existence. Might even just be able to kill you with a spell. I only have one other healer alive. So I'm down a healer compared to where I should be. So what I'm gonna do is... Do whatever I can, I guess, here. That's gonna suck being down a healer. That's all gonna come down to whether or not Kirk can... Survive the BS. I think... I think if I do this, they might kill each other, but I think I want the guaranteed kill here. Perk leveling here might matter. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay. <sighs> Their combo damage is so high, though. Uh, we need to go, I think, this way. Wait, I'm out of healing? Oh. Well, that also might be GG. I thought I had two more heals. We're so close. That's good. So... Can I survive a turn without healing is the question. So here's an example of... If I had not messed up earlier, I would have been able to heal myself here. So I think I'm, I think that mess up cost me. Let's see the cost. They, they didn't attack, but I'm out of healing. Oh no, I have one healing left. But that's uh, it's not good enough. Oh, 
Oh man, if I okay, so if we redo this, I need another heal. That's what I got out of this. Oh, I'm dead now, I think. Yeah, damn, I needed one more heal. Man, this map is... What a difficulty jump this is compared to yesterday. Yesterday it was, like, easy. This is actually, like, genuinely hard. We need to put this away. I ran out of healing. Oh, I... Oh, because when I bought it, I didn't save before buying. Oh, now it makes sense. That's unfortunate. I'm actually gonna put one of the chocolates away. Bye. So, with more healing, we should be good. I think I understand what to do now. So there, there is a very tight strategy we could do to beat this challenge. But yeah, what a, what a massive difficulty increase compared to the previous stage. Holy. And even the stage before that. Okay, so now we know. I need to get Kirk over here. We can technically move Rogue Nine over here as well. Try to get the multi-man buff. I think that's the only thing I want to do differently. I guess I can have them all hard focus the enemies over here. Because it seems like they hit me from like infinite distance. Or I could have Imperameter move closer to get more damage. Think about it. She got hit last time. She needs to be like way up here. Oh, I can't because of the confuse. Oh, I can't do that then. Alright, well, let's have Gonna Bite it throw. Rogue Knight. I don't think I can avoid this. We need to do this or else we can't do anything. Hmm. Okay, well, now it's just enemy boost, which isn't as bad. I could throw another person over there if I want to. But I don't think that helps me. I might just have to hard focus. Let them come forward next turn and kill them with spells. Yeah, maybe that was my mistake. Like, I did chip this team out a little bit, but I think if I had stayed to the left here, I probably could have killed all of them. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna have everybody... that we can... provide some buffs. That's three, we need two more. I need to feed Imperameter a kill. That is so scary to do. I don't think I can risk that. I think what Frost needs to do is Braveheart. Gansel can Braveheart. Imperameter needs to Braveheart. Try needs to Braveheart. Then we have a five-man Braveheart going. Now I'm at max power. So every Braveheart is 20%. Now, with this new stat line, I should kill. Good. And now, move here, and I can have two more characters. So what I can do is... We know they're not going to attack me, so I could try to chip them with Chris. It's I don't think they'll walk forward and attack me. We saw it was all kind of delayed. I wish I had, like, one more buff character. It's so sad that I don't. So we'll do what we can here, and then we'll retreat. Two things weak to ice? That's actually huge. That's actually huge. I could kill both of them next turn, because they're not going to move. Oh, that is so huge, chat. Actually, this is, like, game changer. I'm going to kill more than I did last time. So now Imperameter can help clean up these enemies. So I can move Imperameter here to chip them, which is a big difference from what happened before. So if for some reason I don't kill with melee, I could kill them with Imperameter. So this is where the strategy is going to change. So I can immediately Blade Rush. Gigastar should kill them. I don't need this character anymore. They could go back. Chris can get a little bit of a buff, and then he can walk away. So I have three people to buff him, so I think I'm going to do so now. In fact, what I could do is temporarily I can move these characters diagonal with each other in order to get a quadruple magic buff, or a double magic buff. Well, technically quadruple, so we'll do the same things. 
But this time I have a place I can run my mages. I think this is the strat. So overall, my damage should be way higher. So we're going to revert where their position was, and now we're going to Omega Ice them, and they should get double kill, which is huge. So that's two less I have to worry about, and now I can move Chris basically out of range. Try, I can move over here. I can move Chris all the way up here. So he's now completely out of range. She needs to move a little further, so I can move in Parameter closer, as I mentioned earlier. I can move him here, potentially. She can move over here. Frost can move somewhere over here, pretty much out of range. Maybe this guy will hit Frost. I don't think it'll really matter. The important thing is our main mages are in the middle and not about to take any damage. Let's see what happens here. So didn't kill any of them, but I have a buffed in Parameter who is about to Giga Star them. He's going to show them why this is the best ability. Double kill for in Parameter. That is huge. All right, so this is already off to a much better start. Two of the sniper, four of the snipers are actually legit dead. And now what I can do is throw this. Okay, now I think we're fine. Yeah, I might lose a couple mages here. Only two mages. You know what? Chat, we take those, <laughs> right? Like, that's fine. And now what the difference is, is the parameter has somewhere to run, as does Chris, every turn. In fact, we could hard bully the guy that's weak to fire here if we want to. What we should probably do is give them an out. So what I can end up doing is coming over here. Probably high cancel maybe for now. Move Gansel for a moment. We're going to move this other character here. I'm going to use Try to magic buff them to keep their magic buffs up. The reset their positions. Chris might be in trouble. Oh, wait, you only have two... Oh, you only have 2,000 health? Wait a minute. Hmm. Decisions. can't quite reach him. Um, I think I'm just going to do whatever damage I can here. We saw that stalling is good, so pushing him away from the people is probably good. The question is, where do I run? I think I got to run this way still. Chris is probably going to die. I don't think I can avoid it, but I could probably save in Parameter. Problem is, Try is kind of in the way. I can move Try over here so he's not in the way. So Try might actually live another couple turns. Then I can move Chris in. Uh, I think this might... Uh, he's probably going to get tagged by this one. That's the problem. I think what I could do is try to kill with Chris here. If it doesn't kill, I kill with Imperameter. Yeah, that's fine. Biggest star time. So this is already way better than before. I think we can all agree, chat, this is going much better than before. I have actually a full party that's alive and doing things. And I still have spare characters, which is also huge. Um, I'm going to move Gansel here. Try to maintain Braveheart on Perk. So we eliminated an entire side, and now I have time. Yeah, th see, that's the important thing. Now I can take them at my own pace. So, like, that one down there, I don't have to care about. I just need to pump up my damage. So now now the murder squad is going in, chat. Okay, we, we're, we're getting there. So, Kirk... Let me think. So we just need to chip them out a little. So Kirk can... Who can Kirk reach? Reach this target. I could get XP up, but I don't think it's worth doing right now. Okay, let's give this kill to a mage. We're gonna give this one to Chris, I think. It's already so much better. So now our mages are way, 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 way better. Because they're back up to 41, more or less. Um, now all I need to do is cut off their path. 
So if I stand here, they can't really get by the ninja, but I think I'm actually going to triple strike him to move him further away. Because I think that effectively does the same thing. It stalls him out by a space. We're actually using the positioning technique of the fist for the first time in the entire playthrough from the, in the means in which it was intended. Um, we're going to move Gansel in. As long as everybody is over here, I think I'm good. So I'm probably going to protein shake or something on us. And then what I can do is Braveheart, get our stats back up. And Braveheart again, the protagonist. So this is not bad. If I had one more mage with abilities, I would. I could technically throw out a decoy as needed. But now we're down to just three, four, seven snipers? That's not too bad. And again, we, they haven't even gotten anywhere near us. And you can see they're looking very confused, actually. I don't know if they know how to reach me. Which I think Chad would agree, if all they do is walk away from me, I'm going to get a free kill here. So Rogue Nine might actually solo kill one of these, which is very different than before. So at this point, I think I just turn Kirk around and just try to have him block off this passageway. I don't think there's any downside to this. So they're trying to reach our mages, but I don't think they know how to path to me. Which is like barely not reach. Oh, you know what I could do? I could lift with Gansel and throw Kirk. We're going to deploy Kirk. <laughs> Before he goes too far, we're going to have to try uh, Braveheart. That just makes sense to do. And we're going to get an easy kill here. Okay, that's huge. This is kind of wounded. I could probably chip him out if I just start buffing up a little bit. I think what I can do is magic boost. Magic boost? To prepare for next turn. Is that way of 20% more damage? What, Chow, what a journey this has been. This is like, this is like actual struggle mode. Like, this, we have suddenly gone to hard mode with like no steps in between for some reason. Okay, I could probably get a kill here. So I probably want to feed this to somebody other than Kirk. So he's going to do damage and then let's see how far off he is from there. Oh, never mind. Kirk is strong enough. He does whatever Kirk wants. So we're, we're not going to bother Kirk. But you know what I am going to do? They are just straight up ignoring me. Rogue Nine is actually going to get a kill here. Yeah, there we go. Look at Rogue Nine chat. Listen, he soloed that one down. Much better. <laughs> they haven't even targeted him yet because there's mages on the battlefield. So I guess we're doing some AI manip because they're trying really hard to hit the mages. So for those th that are not aware, there are some enemies that will just hard target your weakest characters. But the problem is like they just don't know how to reach me. So I think at this point I could just magic boost repeatedly. I get set up for a really nasty turn next turn. I just want to make sure I'm not in range. So I could probably walk like a couple of steps closer. Oh god, Tiger Drop, basically. But we might be able to cheese something here. We're setting up for a big turn next turn. They're basically at 80% magic boost. So you can see their int is above 3000, which is much higher than it was at the beginning. So as long as we just move them like here? I don't think I could get hit. Well, I could still potentially reach them. So if they come towards me, right? Like, they'd have to come to that tile to hit me. I don't think they can. Although, as I said before, I wish I wish in Disgaea 1 there was a way to see their distances. I don't think there is. I think this is fine. Even if they kill one of the mages here, it doesn't matter because I have a couple of other mages assisting. So I could still keep Kirk buffed, and I still have two healers for Kirk. This should be fine. Oh. Well, Chad, that's that's what we like to call poor life choices. I think they're about to get dumpstered. We're, we're gonna serve them up, Chad. Oh, look at that, Chad. Oh, no. If only there were a couple of mages that had really good int that could kill them. <laughs> Chad, if only we had- if only we knew of somebody that could do this. There we go, let's feed the kills to the mages. 
because their levels matter a lot, as do Kirk's, but Kirk's at a higher level already. So now they're at 100% in. So I think they're just 100% dead. <laughs> just spoilers. I think we're gonna have, uh, I think a Parameter get this kill. It, whatever he doesn't kill, I'm finishing with Chris. Oh, what a nasty kill. Nasty. Meanwhile, these four enemies have no idea what's going on, like, legit. Look, a shooting star! It was a shooting star. I was gonna say, th this has been quite the journey, Chad. <laughs> we're, and we're using Rogue Nine to block as well. Nice. Rogue Nine blocking them so that they can't line up on anybody. Now we have Chris who could potentially just poke out from here. Or if nothing else, I can use Chris to give myself a uh, Braveheart. Keep my attack power up. So this is going extraordinarily better than before. <laughs> what a difference. What a complete strategy change we had to have for this battle. I guess if I want to, I could technically throw the XP symbol here just to get a little bit of XP. I guess. So what's their int like right now? 3,000 plus? I think they could probably get a kill here. Ooh, if I throw, I might be able to steal a kill here. The question is, can they kill only 400 resist? Oh, I'm not as worried. I mean, if they die at this point, it actually just legitimately doesn't matter be honest with you. But what we should do, 100%, is magic boost the two of them. They're now at insano amounts. I probably need to give Chris a total. Wow. Parameters in is at 3,500. I was going to say, he must have ranked up. Let's start with Imperameter. Oh, Imperameter now is Omega Ice. Oh, no. Oh, no. GG, chat. GG. Enemy did not win the stat roll at no. See, had that been a thousand, that would have been like game over. But like, no, they didn't have it. Get wrecked. Just just roll better. Holy, what a struggle, chat. We got there though. <laughs> I at least have characters that could maybe get a kill on their own on the next stage. So we took advantage of the XP up barely. Wow, they are just hard ignoring me. I feel very insulted by this. But there's not much I could do about this. There we go. I mean, we're slowly building up Fist Master on this character, surprisingly. Um, I think it's time for Imperameter to, to lay down the law, as it were. I think, it, I think it's just their time, quote unquote. <laughs> just give me a second. Do I even need to do that? Can I just Giga Star them? Totally can. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> right, Chad? It's over. It's now over. When I'm deciding who gets the kill, the, the match is over. Um. Yeah, this is also over. GG. Actually, question. Is there a way I can throw these characters to get the kill? I think there is. Hmm. Just need somebody to lift him. What's the easiest way to do this? If I use Etna, she's got a 5 throw. Maybe this will work? I think we're gonna go for max disrespect chat. I think it's gonna happen. So it'll be, if I, if I get here, I can throw them. Oh, actually, I could flip who does that. And that gives me more range as to where she can throw. So, okay, so if she goes here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're gonna we're <laughs> we're gonna go for the diagonal chat. You ready? 
Come on. Get the glitch. No, you want to. Or can he not do it? You might not be able to. Not letting me. That's fine. I have another strategy. Oh, you can't reach it. Hmm. This should still be fine. There we go. Now, now we're being disrespectful, chat. This right here, maximum disrespect. <laughs> just, I just want that bonus XP, chat. Listen. Uh, die. Worth it. Not a lot of hell, which is unfortunate. So, getting brutal. Hopefully we have a slightly less horrible combination of monsters as we go forward, but we'll see. So, progress made. I'll save the game. Now we're at the River of Lava. I'm almost scared to see what her stats are, chat. You know she she's gonna have some something monstrous. You know it's gonna be awful. Now the question is, is her resistance just like infinity? It's actually not that bad. You know what? They kinda they did her dirty on that one. She Ooh. Hmm. That oh my gosh, that XP. Wait a minute. Oh, she needs to die in this zone for sure. Okay, so these enemies are a problem. We've learned this very early on. I don't even know if it's worth combining them. I think I just go for the kill. So I could summon a character and see how things go. Well, almost all of them are weak to one element. That's actually very interesting. Is Kirk really close to rank 10 yet? Oh, he's still not at rank 10. We need Kirk to melee more. This is what I'm also learning. Okay, we're going to full commit, I think, on the left side, because I think I could kill all of these characters. But now the big difference is, like, in Parameter, should be able to get 3,800 in. I should be able to do stuff like this and keep them kind of safe. Yeah, kind of safe back here. And I can summon Chris. And I can summon Rogue Nine, even if we don't use them. I could get five buffs total. I guess the question is how many buffs do I think I need to get what I need? Get one set of magic buffs. I don't know if that's good enough. Let's go ahead and use try to brave heart. Cancel can alter Braveheart. 
Frost can also breathe hard. Now Kirk's attack power is above 4,000. I'm hoping this kills. I can use Rogue 9 to body block if I really need to. As long as nobody is where Impair Meter is currently, I should be good. I mostly just move in Parameter here so I could do something like this. I think Gansel is dead no matter what I do here. I don't think it matters where I move him. Now, our inn is not bad. Ooh, you know what actually would work really well? If I do a normal attack here, that means I could actually counterattack with Kirk's damage. I think that would actually matter. Alright, so I could definitely get that kill. There's not a question there. Yeah, suddenly that's much better. So now I only have to do a little bit of damage, so one ice up should probably kill here. And if RJ Chaos just had more experience, I didn't realize it was going to ramp so hard so quickly. So unfortunate. Because him, him having a magic boost would make a big difference here. Like, I'm not sure if it... I think a parameter would survive this. Try to do something like... Just using parameter for now. And if parameter dies, we have a backup mage. Maybe that just makes more sense to do for now. Go for a Giga Star here. So that way, even if Imperameter dies, at least we could say we got him pretty heavily leveled. Because he was only like 50 or so the last time we got him here. So now at least his stats are a little better. He might survive a hit? Maybe? We're gonna hope that this frontline works. I could technically hold the other characters if I want to as well. The problem are just these five. We want to save maybe one or two characters alive for Flan, but I don't want it to be these characters. Um. The question is, what abilities does she have? It's got an AoE heal and some spells. And I survive. Let's learn. Oh, you just did a normal attack? Oh, that's all you did? Oh. I mean, sorry, Rogue Nine. Rogue Nine put in the work in the other area, to be fair. So now, we should have a mostly safe place to go, because those enemies aren't moving. So we're going to move... Characters a little bit. We're going to pump our magic boost significantly. Hearted by accident, that's fine. Don't think this matters. Parameter's damage should be near max. Chris's is still pretty good. We just need to make sure we use Omega Wind here, I think. Huge. Ooh, your resistance is good. Well, we see what happens before when the resistance gets too high, chat. Sometimes they just have to go. Okay, Kirk getting a level up there is huge. It means he's more likely to survive. That means Chris is free to do whatever he wants here. Hmm. Maybe if I move these characters a little bit, I should be fine. I also didn't get a buff opportunity, so let's use Magical Boost on Chris then. Get his damage up a little higher. Now I should be able to just poke them annoyingly. They're almost all weak to fire. Hmm. That is one of our better spells. My range is not that good, though. Hmm. How close am I ranking up? Not that close. Okay. In which case... Let's just keep it simple. Buff uh, Kirk's character again. That way his attack power should be closer to 5,000. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so right now this is fine. We haven't lost anybody other than Rogue Nine. We killed some of the enemies. 
We expected them to move eventually. Oh, she could reach from there. I mean, she didn't kill in Parameter, which is actually huge. That is kind of crazy how far she can hit. So she might be a problem to our mages. Let's... Let's go this way. And we have two characters potentially bullying them, so let's go ahead and double magic boost these two. Didn't quite the, get the kill, so we use Imperameter here. I'm gonna move Imperameter on the other side. Not as ex much XP as I would have hoped for. But now, I could start kind of chipping them out a little. So that way the mages can get the kills next turn. I think that just makes sense. Wow, they are- she is just straight hunting the mages, chat. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Well, I think it's up to Imperameter. Oh, oh, I don't have enough MP for Omega Star. Oh, chat, we got robbed. Triple kill, though, for Imperameter. That is actually massive. So he's now level 61. Uh, well, Chris, uh, good luck. She's, 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 hunt, she's hunting him down, chat. I don't, I don't know if I can stop this. I will try to heal him, though. I mean, at least it seems like his defense is good enough. He's not dying instantly, because if she's using spell damage, keep in mind, my resistance is actually pretty high with these characters. Why can she why can she reach from that far away? What the heck is this? Uh I think my mages are dead. I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Unless I grab her. I might have to. Let's move further out of the way. Let's definitely grab her. She's a big problem right now. I could just throw her over here. I don't know if that's good enough. Throw her back if I want to. Maybe that would work. Get a self-heal going. She's still targeting the mage. Oh, Helvetium survived! Oh my gosh, somebody could actually survive that nonsense. Alright, so we have an enemy we could potentially merge her into if I want to. I don't think it's a my best idea ever. I mean, like, it'd be worth a lot, but could I survive it is the question. I have one more character I could do this with. I mean, like, maybe I could kill her? I would need Etna, right? I think, to make this. One, two, three, four. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I'll go for it? Then I can hit her with a, a spell on the way through. Which is better than nothing. <laughs> right, chat? Do a little drive-by. Okay, can I live is the question. Wow, she she did not like Calvisham. Did you see that hateful targeting, chat? That was so hateful. <laughs> that was like literal full... Oh, now Kirk gets the AoE. Well, it's too late. I needed that way earlier. Holy. She's taking a lot of damage, so as long as I don't get too close, should be fine. Damn, she is just so far out of range. Right, I definitely need to make sure Etna goes away, or make her go like way over here just to annoy the enemy. Like if I do this, what is she going to do? Is she going to try to leave? I don't know. I guess I can make her go this way, just to see what she does. 
I don't want to move, because I'm not sure how the AI is going to try to path. It could try to snipe her. There's no downside to this, because I think I win no matter what here. Oh, you know what I could do? I could actually throw Chris away every single time I use the spell. Hold on, chat. Genius tier. <laughs> Put him out of the harm's way. Oh, we'd actually give this to Chris. That'd be kind of nasty. Yep, and then we do this. <laughs> okay, now that is cheesy. That is cheesy. There we go. Nice little free hit there. Oh, you tried melee and Kirk? What are you? What are you insane? <laughs> Just she has all the stats. Is she melee Kirk? Like why? <laughs> why though? Oh man. Um. Oh, if only I can lure them closer together somehow. Be kind of annoying. I could technically merge her into the final enemy. She does. She is so low on health. I think it would actually be worth doing at this point. But the problem is making my other character survive the wrath of the god. I'm not sure I could get away with it. Wait, Chris has five movement, right? Try to throw him here. Okay. That's good. Now Chris is protected. And now it's just down to Etna. So if the boss kills themselves on me, it's on them. I don't care. Oh. Death wish. Somehow did- I am so surprised she didn't die. I'm gonna be real with you. Um... I guess if I do this... This should work, right? I just heal myself a little bit, so I don't get chipped out. I let them come towards Etna, and even if they kill Etna, it doesn't matter. Is that gonna be, like, over here? I think I could do that. I'm, like, one shy. Yeah, this is where Etna needed a boot. Maybe do something like this. I don't want the boss to move that much. I could technically move, like, over here to stop her from going too far. I think no matter what, Etna's dead here. I don't think it really matters what I do here. Let's make it simple, then. Let's make her come over here. Oops, Alright, so now both of them should come towards me. Which is what I want. And I will, I will safety heal every turn if I need to, so I don't get one shot. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, you know what? Let's force her to choose. Sophie's choice, chat. <laughs> <laughs> who, who does she give the XP to? Let's find out. And I can heal with the other character. Okay. So now I can heal, because we know she doesn't one-shot. This is fine. And if she melee, she's dead. Oh. Yeah, here we go, chat. Oh no, I got put to sleep? You come on! You kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die on the last hit. Are you serious? Wow. Why does she have sleep? Why does she have sleep, chat? Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. It was actually the perfect strat until my character fell asleep. Oh wait, I woke up. Hold on, it's not over. Perish. Okay, that was way closer than that had to be. Now, stacking her with the other enemy should net us a lot of hell. And it did. Oh, that was almost so bad. What's wrong? I thought you were going to teach me a lesson. We are so lucky we RNG woke up from sleep. For those not aware, Chad, when you fall asleep in this game, you do not wake up when you're struck. 
You wake up random turns later. It is really bad if it hits you, especially since we had nobody to cure it. She lost on purpose, if you say so. Huh? And why would you do that? In situations like this, heroes need to be in trouble. Oh, I was in trouble, Flan. Don't worry about that. So that they can overcome the odds and be victorious in the end. Barely, barely victorious, right, chat? Uh, are you okay? Did you hit your head or something? No, but since I might really lose, I must retreat for now. Goodbye! Gonna get stronger. Oh no, chat. Gonna power up, that's for sure. Oh boy, what is her but harder? Rest in peace, the wall of characters that died for our sins here. Holy, this final chapter is something else. Man, I wish I had one more muscle growth. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to do? Perks at 89. So his stats are actually pretty solid. If we could get another uh, Devil Ring, I think we'd be in a good position. Or Royal Ring, or whatever it's called, the one after Pravda. So we got up to 10. Parameter's up to 8. Chris is back up to 7. So I think Imperameter has enough raw health to survive a hit now. Because they do about 800 to him, so he could take exactly one hit now, which is kind of nice. Chris's character probably can't survive a hit. Rogue 9 can survive a hit, because he actually has defense. Oh no, he doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. The belts say no. No defense for you. Is there anything I wanted to do with these characters before we go into this next stage? Because this is going to be a jump. I don't think we want to reincarnate at this point, because it's going to be like nearly impossible. Unless I reincarnate uh, Rogue 9. In theory, could be useful. But at the same time, I don't see how I'm going to get extra kills unless I get like a super weapon here. Diabolic Staff is very tempting. It having 100 defense is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I almost wish I had a deep. I almost wish I had an Axe user, actually. I think that's my only regret. I probably should have raised an Axe user for this difficulty. I made a good call on leveling Kirk with Sword, because we definitely need his long range snipe ability, because we see what happens. And that doesn't go as planned. Oh boy. Here you are again! I'm going to win this time! Because I have powered up! Watch closely now, okay? There you go, the mask lit up. That's it? So your eyes are glowing? Yes! Now I can see in the dark! Anyone who'd walk around at night wearing that mask has got to be some kind of crazy. You don't have to be jealous just because you can't do this. Oh no, she's completely delusional. Prepare yourself! It's time to teach you a lesson! There you are, Edna. Demons like you are so simple. I knew you would betray me. I'll show you what happens to those who rebel against my authority. Oh. So it's her again, with more stats. Are there any other Geo symbols? No. It's just a whole lot of enemies, chat. Well... We gotta start somewhere. So I guess we're gonna do whatever we can. Let's make sure my attack stat is maxed out. I think that's probably the most important thing. We're gonna take advantage of... Her ability to long range buff. I think Tri can also buff from like an insane range now because of how often he's used it. Yeah, there we go. See, this is where the level ups are starting to pay off for our proficiencies. But I could do stuff like this. Yeah, like that's huge, Chad. Like I can, I can buff further than I could walk. Um, so that's f three. Need two more people to buff. 
So I think we try to buff with... Ooh, but then there's gonna be an open passageway over there. Unless I block it with a soldier. I guess I could. Do something like... Braveheart damage up here. I want our damage as high as possible. I'll put Chris over here as well. So I shouldn't be lined up with them at all for anything, and I swear if they hit me from that distance. Even over here is probably better. Oh. I could have actually spared one less Braveheart. I don't know if that'll matter, but I could have done one less. Uh, let's see. Excellent obstructed. Game, please. Right, chat? No, no, no. Uh-uh. Obstructed this. Oh, that would have been big damage. Okay. Giving a level up to Rogue 9 is not a bad idea. And now I just need a character to block. Ooh, I can't reach it. Unless I throw somebody. That's gonna work. Um, yeah, if I, if I had done it in a different way. I don't think I'm gonna reset for that. I, I could have saved in Parameter to Gigastar there, so that was a misplay on my part. Uh, what am I gonna do in the meantime? works. It does. So I can leave it- so I make a parameter totally safe. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. That works. It's fine if they kill Rogue Nine here. Oh, they attack Kirk. Ooh. What a- what a juicy lineup. So now what we could do is we can use Gansel in a corner to brave oh we can't reach. Braveheart Kirk. And then I can have everybody up everybody else in power and parameter? Or I could give it to Chris. I guess I'll give it to a parameter for now. I should still magic boost both of them. In case I need to clean up. The three magic boosts should be, like, an easy-peasy gigastar death. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, just die. Big level up from Pyramiter. Uh... And now at this point, I think I just, just walk forward with Kirk and start slaying. Right, chat? Like, I have nothing better to do. I could use... Do I have one more character? I do. Perfect. I'm gonna use Calvisham to heal. I didn't restock healing. Uh, I don't know. Oh, he throws really far for healing items. That's interesting. I don't think that's ever been a thing I've ever cared about before, but it's no, I guess. Um, I could try to poke him out from here. What are they? Weak to fire? That's always fun. Okay. So Chris's still getting, like, little scraps of XP every now and then. Him being level 51 is already way better statted than his other character. So he's pretty respectable in terms of damage. The parameter has the super staff, so we probably need one more staff. What I could do in the meantime is probably just... I guess I could lure these enemies in with the other characters? The flan isn't moving... Um, these guys, I'm not really concerned about their ranges. I could use the mages to kill them. The question is, do I walk up and try to become a decoy with Rogue Nine or not? He could survive one hit. I don't know if he could survive Flan. He could definitely survive Bifron. Hmm. I might just throw Chris in the base just to protect him. And move, move over here. Maybe that's a better play. There we go. I was waiting for them to start moving. Alright, so this one's weak to ice. So let's go ahead and take care of them with the uh, 
their characters here. Put Edna back, because she's not useful. Now we can start- see, now we can start full screen retreating. It's like, what are they gonna possibly do to us at this point? Double magic boost, both of them. Now my- as long as he doesn't have like a thousand resist, only only 500? Sucks to suck, right chat? I think we're good there. Gansel's done. She is not buffed. I should probably keep Kirk's strength up. Let's buff Kirk. Need to guarantee that he gets the buff. Yeah, he's at 4,900. This should just outright kill. Perfect. Now Kirk is stronger. He's almost at 100, which is where levels start to matter again. So I could choose to weaken this character with the punch attack. And I think I will do so, actually. Assuming I can hit regardless of distance here. Oh no, that puts him right at the edge. Okay, we'll see though. So, double Omega Ice will hopefully kill here. And if it doesn't, I can punch him. I think that'll be our strat. Never mind, I should not have doubted that. <laughs> So now Chris is catching up pretty significantly. We still have a ninja to maybe lure in some attackers, so I think I'm going to move him closer. Because even if they come towards him, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we have one person potentially just buffing Kirk at long distance, and we have two mages keeping magic buff up on the other characters. Oh, now they're starting to move. That really sucks how far away that hits Chad, I am not going to lie. That really blows. On the plus side, I'm not going to combine them into a super monster. On the downside for the enemy, I'm going to ignore Flan for a little bit. So let's let's become a decoy. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to have Calvisham hold on to her for a little bit. Tell her to chill out. Still have one mage left, right? Okay, so I can magic bu uh, buff now. So all of us can just kind of wail on these remaining enemies. So no matter what happens here, it's about to become a massacre. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, this is just actually disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna give it to the mages. Let's have a little more range. Come over here. Omega Star. Nice level up for Imperimeter. So Imperimeter really catching up in levels. Kirk will be at like a good solid 100 or so. I could probably just punch this character backwards to stall. Keep Imperimeter safe. Perfect. Then I guess I could put Flan down for a second and just hit her with a spell. Nothing stops me from weakening her right now. Let's have Chris do that because this Omega Ice is higher level. Wow, he could basically one shot her next turn. That's kind of crazy. Sorry, Calvisham, I think you're going to give your life for the cause here. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm just like, I could combine them into her, I guess. I mean, it should be doable. Oh, well, not if it one-shots Rogue Nine. Damn. Rogue Nine did not dodge there. That is so sad. Um... Hmm... I mean, I guess there's no downside to trying to form a conga chain. So I could combine them all together. Sure, why not? Let's get more money. The greed is real. Let's see who she targets. We're doing good damage to her so far, and then we can ice with Chris. Which we know is his best spell. So before we do that, let's make sure to magic buff Chris, and then we do go for it. So she's dead no matter what next turn, and the best part is I can move Chris really far out of the way, 
Parameter might die here, but there's a really strong chance she's just gonna aim for Edna. See what happens. Or she may like could be funny. She that Etna hate was real. Can we all agree, chat? That hate was real. Like, there are so many juicy targets, she's like, Etna must kill. Like this. Um, I guess I should probably give this to Kerr. But I should also probably weaken the enemy slightly. So I'm gonna do. No mercy! I'm just gonna do a basic star attack here to build meter. Just to make sure that uh, Kirk's able to get the kill. And then to really make sure he's able to get the kill, I'm gonna brave heart him. I'm gonna brave heart him twice. This should kill no matter what. Hurricane slash fool. See, we got a little more hell by combining her, which is nice. We can almost afford a super weapon. Mercy indeed. Huh? Yeah, I'm so sad we don't have another muscle item. If we were playing the item world, I would have had Calvisha with triple muscle. <laughs> just like no other no other equipment, just all muscle. Base tank it. Before Madeiras finds out. Now, where did he hide it? <sighs> I talked big, but I have no more power left. However, if I don't do something, both the Netherworld and Celestia will be in danger. To prevent that from happening, I need to teach Miss Etna what it means to be a space detective. Hmm, but. What can I do? What are you doing, Flan? Can't you defeat Etna? Oh, did we actually hit the end of chapter? I'm sorry, God. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, God, chat. I forgive you. She's not a pushover for an angel trainee. I'll give you a secret item to aid you in your quest. What is this? It's a magic tome. With it, no demon, not even Etna, can rival your power. Now, Flan, you must defeat Etna before she plunges the netherworld into utter chaos. Yes, my lord. Okay, there is another stage. I was gonna say, that felt kind of long for an in-between chapter. But at the same time, it didn't feel like the story was over. We're so close to affording a new piece of equipment, chat. Oh my gosh. I so badly want to upgrade. Oh, it has to roll extremely well at this point. Like, it needs to be like a 700 sword or like, basically, like, see how this is like a 700 attack weapon? We need to be on that kind of level really good. Speaking of which, how much health do we need for the next upgrade? We only need to take 10,000 more damage. Hmm. Bibli biblically accurate flaw. There you go. I wonder. Give me a second, chat. I think I'm gonna manipulate our health total a little bit here. Ugh, oh, hate menuing. We're gonna do this a couple times. At least now I have three items, and I'm also only about 10,000 away. I keep forgetting when you swap, you don't have to cancel. It automatically does that. There we go, I needed it slightly better. Okay, I think I only need a couple more. 
Like, it's to the point where I think I genuinely need to get this item, or the next area might be too hard. I think what's throwing me off is this quality staff, which is anything but quality. I would just like to state chat, it is just actual trash. Oh god. Let me, let me just sell this. This is actually just messing up my menu wing, because I have to keep going downwards. Get rid of fancy lid. Actual trash. Actual trash. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's still kind of annoying the menu. Let me do this instead then. There we go. I think I only need a little more. So three more times and then we'll move on. Okay, if it's at the bottom of the menu, that's actually not that bad for menuing. So close. I don't know if I have enough SP used, but technically I'm also adding SP every time. I'm very slightly adding to the SP needed. I think one more reset. So we're 21 deaths from the best item in the game, but I'm nowhere close with HP loss, unfortunately. Having another testament here would have been huge, for sure. I think this might do it. For one shy. Okay, one more. It's getting another stat up thing could actually be important. Because we're seeing, like, Chris live by, like, little tiny bits of defense. There we go. So, Muscle World and Royal Ring. Hmm. So, as we can see, chat, a thousand health is kind of important for tanking these hits. I think we can all agree. I think I definitely want to make sure these both roll decently. Might take a little while. Uh, absolutely not to both of these. <laughs> Please do a little better. Rare Muscle World. 184 Gladiator. Hmm. I think we could do better. We need Royal Ring to be really good. Muscle World being good is nice. We need Royal Ring to actually be good. No. So what does it need to beat on Kirk's repertoire? So he's using a... 320 Bell, which is probably not going to happen. So it has to beat a double... Ooh, it might need to have stat Statistician. Ooh, that would be kind of annoying. So it could very easily beat Sophia's Mirror, but it Sophia's Mirror should be able to beat whatever the other mages are using. As long as this rolls really well. <laughs> Chat, if, if this rolls well, we will be fine. Unfortunately... We're getting uh, ultra low rolled here. You've got to be kidding me. A rare royal ring would actually be huge. 177 in, maybe. I think I have to pass. I think it could do. I think it could roll higher. It was it was good, but like it could definitely do better. I'm willing to, I'm willing to re-roll for a few times, chat. To say. Ooh. Ooh. That is an, a very interesting combination of items here. Do I take it? The problem is the royal ring is just kind of mediocre. The diet, the muscle world is amazing. Like, it rolled basically as good as it's ever gonna roll, but everything else about it is kind of whack. And let me, let me check one thing. So, Parameter is using 157 in. Perk is using 118. Speaking of which, does that mean for Imperameter? Oh, I'll just give more in. Maybe for Crystal it'll be an upgrade? Okay, so we could get rid of Holy Orb on Chris in order to get better stats and give the Int Orb to somebody else. Okay. So I think this will be an upgrade for Chris then. Ooh. Oh, if this was attack, this actually would have been amazing. If this had been attack, I would have picked this up immediately. Damn. 
he got cheated there, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it actually rolled rare, but not in a way that's useful. Broker, Sentry. Broker's not a bad thing to get. It's just the stats on it are terrible. So we're looking for either 200 int or 200 uh, attack at this point. I'm willing to go without a statistician. But I needed to do better. Come on, game. I'm, like, so close. <laughs> it's on the wrong thing. No. The muscle world being good is a bonus, but uh, it's not what I want to focus on. Arm Master is interesting. It's not 200 int, though. Come on, game. Oh, that's just a absolute fail. Come on. That is a really good ring for, uh... I think I just go for this. 242 int? That's really strong. I think we'll take that. That'll be an upgrade for Imperimeter, then. That is, like, a hilarious amount of int. We can increase Chris's int by a little bit. It does matter. These other characters are mostly fine. I don't really need their other abilities. I could have technically put the other thing on Kirk, but I think what I should do... Is actually... Place it on Kirk. Yeah, I think Kirk benefits more from this. And Parameter can still get a pretty solid item with also Statistician. I think I'm okay with this. I'm a little sad we lost the Statistician, but I think this is probably fine. about it. Where do I want to put it back? Uh... Why did I change my mind? Let's just leave it on Imperimeter. The Imperimeter's defense is actually okay. His resistance is good. His health total is really high. The Muscle World on Calvisham to survive. I think I will do so. Technically put Etna with one of these items. else need to be tankier. Mm. Put a thing on gonna bite it. I think the rest of this matters. That defense is actually kind of funny. What I could do is probably actually just double up on Gunabite its health total, which would matter more. I think that's good. I'm not sure I made the best decision possible there, but I think I like... I would have preferred an upgrade for Sophia's Mirror here, but I think... This is fine. I'd rather keep the Statistician on Kirk's character. And Disempower and Parameter. Alright, so let's get some eclairs. Double check to see if there's any crazy items in here. I could technically get falcon shoes. There's no downside to it. Like, they're ultra cheap at this point. I don't think it really matters. Something like this. Or so for our first row of people... Oh, and then we can improve Etna's movement. Ooh! And then having 7 movement actually kind of rocks, I'm not gonna lie. In fact, let's make, let's give her 8 movement. <laughs> right, chat? We're gonna make sure I'm never in a position where I can't reach somebody ever again. Should be good here. That was very minimal cash spent, so I don't think that matters. Okay, is there anything else I need to do with these characters before we proceed? So Kirk is at a good level. He has Testament on and a Soul Belt. 
I could get rid of something for Soul Belt, but Soul Belt's attack power is just so high. I would have to see if there is another belt that would even ever possibly come close to that. I mean, it'll have to be like nothing shy of Triple Gladiator. I doubt we'll find it, but in the meantime, it could get some more players. That this really matters. You know what? These are dirt cheap. I'm gonna buy these. Now what we could do is... Do something like this for movement purposes. I still need to get three more healing items. Fun. I don't need a lot of SP recovers. Honestly, that hasn't usually been our problem. We'll get one more healing item. And we'll try to beat whatever this boss is. Hopefully we won't need this many. I'd rather be overprepared at this point. I'll take the hell loss just to get more boots. using up all of our sat items, right, Chad? There we go. The wall is here. We've got three SP recovers. We have, like, a hybrid. I guess we'll try to beat whatever this horrible boss is. Or hopefully it's easy. Prefer it to be easy, but we'll see what happens. Transform into something. Uh, flan? You okay? Oh, there we go. Darker flan. Miss Etna. Oh, it's literally dark flan. Okay, yeah, pretty much. Hmm, she's engulfed by a dark aura. I'm sorry for talking about things as nasty as love and justice. Uh, I actually hated the whole space detective thing more. Don't you badmouth space detectives? That's still my number one goal. Oh, why couldn't that change? Don't worry, Miss Etna. I won't talk to you about space detectives anymore. Instead, please die for me. There we go, chat. Please die. Oh no, what's the stage gimmick? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Oh, what? Oh no, this is horrible. Um... I don't even... Wow, where do we even start? Um... Well, we're gonna have to get a throw chain going. The question is, what do I do? One... One, two, three, four. So that's a four. One, two, three, four. One, 
and okay so i think i need to make several throw piles oh this this is a awful gimmick chat i am not gonna lie this is just uh good old zero out of ten gimmick for me So with all of our jump enhancements, I should actually be able to reach this reasonably. So we can at least get rid of silence. Oh, it has to line up with her. Hmm. Let me think about that. I thought I could just throw Geo Prisms into each other. I forgot that's not a thing. Um, that complicates it. So once Silence is gone, I can have fun. Ooh. Um. I don't know why I threw it like that. That was actually a bad idea. I might have to reset. We'll see. <sighs> I didn't get it. Oh, I reset. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I could throw them into each other. Today I learned. I cannot do so. So that looks like a hot steaming garbage level. I'm not going to lie. This is like a... This is the choice that they have decided to do, I suppose. So is there a way I could... Because I can't do anything until the silence is gone. Like, the enemy boost is the other last thing that's going to be really annoying to do. But, oh boy, is this a gimmick. Are the enemies having random stats? I'm not sure for her. Looks about the same, at least. <laughs> she doesn't randomly have 2,000 resistance, at least. Hmm. Maybe. I got one down. This character could go very, very far. What was this one? I don't actually care too much about ally damage, because I'm probably going to die in one hit to most things anyway. But I could pick it up for now. Um... Technically, they shouldn't all be able to die in one shot. Do something like... Like one other super mover. Hit. These characters chained together. She should not be able to hit us if I'm this far apart. We are going to lose characters, and there's not much I could do about it. But... I should be able to manipulate her in a way that it could be useful. So silence needs to go. Enemy boost has to go eventually. I could start another three-man chain, just to get somebody over there, which I might have to do. Though all the people at the entrance will be replaced by mages, so I'm not super worried about this. Alvisham has a lot of movement. I could throw Calvisham, I think. So let's get another super chain going, if I can. Uh, prefer not to use Kirk here. Do I have nobody else that can throw? Hmm. Alright, so what I could do is... Get rid of some of these. Wait. You can't... Why? Wait. No, this was a mechanic we did earlier. Why can I not throw it into her? Why is this now a thing? Wait, what? 
wait, when was this a thing? Could you just never throw it into human units? It was only monster units? Because think about it, chat. We just did that two maps ago. If you remember, when we were in that awful one where I had to reset a few times, I threw it into a monster. Are you telling me you can't throw it into human units in this game? Uh, that is going to complicate things extremely heavily. I will... Do my best, I guess, to kill this. So that is kind of annoying. So what we're going to do... We're going to lift her up for now. We need this to die. The problem is I can't buff in order to kill it. It's going to be very interesting. We're going to take a lot of damage. There's not much I could do about that. What I can do, though, is replace these people, because they don't need to do anything else for the rest of the playthrough. Think, please. Huh. Alright, so the only thing I could do is this, I think? Just to try to chip it out a little more. Then I can move here and do this. And the 80% chance doesn't activate. You've got to be kidding me. You can't make this stuff up, chat. Like, did you see it just fail? Wow. Well, I'm not going to say it's over, but that was kind of a problem. I could throw these over here. That way, all the ally damages are near each other. I can almost reach that one. I'm going to have Calvisham probably stay here for now. Let's have Calvisham go up here. Throw her further up, because she's got better throw. But she's probably going to die unless I can kill next turn. I oh, wait, no, no, I can pick him up with Hitme. Okay, Hitme is going to save the day here, I think. Then I'm going to put these two together. I can hit them finally with spells. We got cheated on the 80% or else I'd be able to summon mages right now. Which is, I would like to say, very annoying. So everybody is about to die unless I can get this thing to go off. So we need this to activate for sure. Okay, our abilities are now unlocked. So I should be able to hit these. They have opposite resistances because of course they do need this to go away. I'm going to throw this as far as I can. I don't even care where it goes. As long as it's like a little closer. There we go. Holy, the diagonal inputs. <laughs> right, chat? Holy diagonals. Okay, so now everything is lined up and I can lift Lon one more time. I still have enough to get some buffs. We're gonna really need Imperameter and Chris to get this kill, or it's GG. I can slash these at least. But I can weaken her a little bit now. Alright, so that should make it a little easier to kill them. has to kill where it's a GG. I'm gonna buff their magic because that's all I can afford because we got cheated. I would like to say, Chad, we actually failed at 80% and that's the only reason I have to take another turn here. So we definitely got hard cheated here. So every single one of them is resisted to something else, which is very annoying. But most importantly, we don't care about enemy boosts right now. We need ally damage to go. We're gonna do... Am I seriously out of range? Wait, am I seriously out of range? Okay, thank you. I was gonna say. Okay, that's dead. Now I can hit this one with the... I guess fire resist. <laughs> the prisms are so high level, chat. I leveled <laughs> killing an inanimate object. Okay, so now she's killable. I have some characters to stall. I have some buffs. Holy, what a what a nightmare of a stage right now, chat. Um, 
she just needs to take a million damage and die. There's nothing in between. So, things weak to fire. Can I get any more buffs? I think Calvishim is gonna buy time. We get a couple turns. Calvishim should reach, right? Thank you, Calvishim. You're able to reach. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put away Rogue Nine. I need probably another character that can buff. So what is lower, her resist or her defense? Her defense is much lower. So what we're gonna do is... Come over here. We're going to pump him up as much as we can right now. We're just going to do as much damage as we can. Hopefully we can do quite a bit here. We'll see though. Three thousand is not bad. I have two more turns. What I could do is lift. I don't think she can throw. She's like slightly out of range. Just like barely out of range. That sucks. We have to do that or else we're just going to die to random hits. Don't have anybody else. So every turn we're going to have to somebody else pick it up. We should kill her in time. So what will happen now is that Etna will stall. So she's going to be the, the sacrifice. We're going to do about the same amount of damage, but the difference now is I'm going to get one turn with magic here without losing any of our damage. We're going to go for it here. Actually, he's not at max power, right? Hold on, I think we could get him stronger. I think we could do this. It should be at 5,000, right? Yeah, that makes a big difference. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to test the waters a little bit. We're just going to land some Omega Fires for assistance. We need everybody to be real close because I need to be able to pick up as needed. So probably going to lose try here. What we're going to do is as much damage as possible. I'm going to stand behind her. Technically, if I do a normal attack here, I would do enhanced damage since I'm on a higher terrain. And on top of that, well, it's only four. Maybe that's not enough. I think it needs to be ten. But her back is that direction, which means she'll take more damage from normal attacks. But let's try to just land some normal shots here to weaken her up and see how well we do with a combo attack here. Honestly, that damage was really good. I think we can agree, chat. Okay. As awful as the start of the stage was, this actually looks doable. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Probably just build proficiency, right? Yeah, let's just build proficiency. The try is only going to Braveheart. Nothing's going to change there. She can build magic boost in case I miss. Their damage is still pretty good. Um... What is the minimum damage I could do to assist with it and maybe get the kill still? I mean, if somebody else gets the kill here, it's not the end of the world, I guess. There we go. What a stage. <laughs> right, chat, what a stage. Whew, that was tough. Don't blame me if you die. You're the one who started it. <gasps> Pretty juice! Huh? Oh, oh, it was only a dream. What the hell were you dreaming about? Uh, anyways, I can finally get my memories back. Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> Boys, Madeiras? Edna, what are you doing? <laughs> Looking for this, perhaps? Oh, when did you... Hey, that person... He looks like God. I get it. You're the one who tricked Flan into trying to kill me. What do you mean? Don't even think about it. <laughs> Fine. Your plan was to claim that Laharo was still alive, so you could get your memory back while I fought him, was it not? Fool! 
I already know that you killed Lahar. The Overlord and his son no longer exist. What? The Overlord is already dead? Why are you so surprised? God told me that you were the Overlord. Well, I was going to be the Overlord, but that's not the case anymore. You did a fine job, Edna. You've done everything I asked. Which means I have no reason to keep you around. What? Give me back my memory! <laughs> we are demons. Why should I show any sympathy for you? He's got a point. You shall regret trying to betray me! Ah! I'm gonna kill you if you do anything to my memory! What am I feeling? Even a noble demon. What are you doing here? Huh. What are you looking at? Step aside, commoner. That voice acting, though. Uh, st stop it! I said stop it! You sure eat a lot for something so weak. What the heck is that? I mean, you're eating my food, too. Scorlia? Are, are we being introduced to a dog that doesn't exist in the main playthrough? I don't have any more food. If you want more, you'll have to steal some on your own. I'm going now. Bye bye <laughs> Was that... my memory? My, my! Looks like you could use a hand. Huh? Who is it? You. How disgusting. A noble demon should never harm a beautiful maiden. Let moi, the dark Adonis Byers, take care of this. Jeez, you got some crazy fetish or something? Finale Chronicles of Vet Narnia and to be continued. It's time for Flan's Q&A Corner! Well, chat, we're now officially on the final chapter. Wow, I will say that was a massive difficulty jump. I think those stages were much harder than anything else we did in the entire story through the entire challenge. That, uh, that series of long-range snipers just kind of one-shotting our minions was like, ugh. I mean, at least they went in a sequential order and we figured it out. But wow, though the gimmicks are really, really strong. I'm kind of scared to see what the final levels are. If, if these are the warm-up gimmicks to the final area, I don't understand how someone can just take people's fun away. It seems like the netherworld is so full of these sad, evil people. It's so different from Celestia. You just need to teach those evil people a lesson about justice. You feel that way too, Flan? Yes! Angels are allowed to get mad too! I'm glad to hear it. Oh, hey! When did you get here? Why are you trying to take my fun away? <laughs> you look awfully scary, Miss Edna. Well, like you said. No! I'm sorry! I would absolutely like to save. We're now in the final chapter. For real this time. Did you want to load something? Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, I did just save. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Did it really crash? No. Uh, well, reset time. I mean, it's clearly not doing anything. Yeah, this guy is not I think I figured that out. We're good. <laughs> the music was still playing, though. Try again. The cutscene was too powerful, Chan. That would be a very lame way for the challenge to end if, for whatever reason, this cutscene is like genuinely broken. 
There we go. Oh, I'm so mad! I am too, Etna. That was the first time the game has ever had an issue. That demon just came out of nowhere and stole my scene! It's okay, Miss Etna. At least your precious memories weren't destroyed. That just makes everything worse. It makes me sick that I was saved by a demon like him. Yeah, no doubt he stole the show, dude! I don't know why he appeared, but he just got in my way! <laughs> Scary part would be a corrupted save file, true. He even made that stupid promise. Vias? Never heard of you. But if you get in my way, you won't live to see tomorrow! Please, calm down! You tried to destroy the lovely lady's memories, thinking they were worthless. But if you did that, she would never let you get away with it. Yep. If you don't want to die, then don't piss me off. <laughs> what can she do? I'll just destroy her and not have to worry about it. I see that both of you are willing to settle this through battle. How about we return here another day to settle your duel? Huh? Why should I agree to that? I just want my memories back. If you fight Madeiras now, you won't walk away unscathed. You exerted plenty of your energy during your previous battle. You're enjoying this, aren't you? The duel will be held three days from now. We shall all meet at Grand North, several miles north of Madeiras' castle. If Etna should win, Madeiras must return her memories. But if she should lose, hmm. How about, uh, Madeiras will become the next overlord? Hey, hey! I will not agree! What guarantee do I have that I will become the overlord by defeating her? There are plenty of others who are vying for that title. That is a good point. However, she did eliminate the prince, the rightful heir to the throne. I am confident that you would qualify as the overlord should you defeat her. And I will also give you this for defeating the young mademoiselle. The demon tome? Hey, why do you have that? I, uh, I stumbled upon it earlier. Yeah, I think God has rewarded moi for being so handsome. Miss Etna, why is everyone so surprised? That book is beyond priceless. The demon tome can only be held by the overlord himself. It's proof of being from the royal family. If you have that book, you're basically the overlord. Wow! I never knew it was that easy to become an overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Fool! Why should I wait? I could just kill you all now! I understand how you feel, but I won't give this up that easily. If you attack, I won't hesitate to toss it into the lava. Have you gone mad? It can make you the Overlord. You think I'm joking? Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead and attack me. Ah, very well. I will adhere to your plan. By the way, why did that Byers guy say he was going to give up the demon tone? I don't think he had a choice in that situation. That's what I don't get. If he has the book, why doesn't he make himself the Overlord? It's because of love! Huh? Sacrificing yourself for the well-being of others. It's a wonderful act of love. Demons don't care about love. I know he has something up his sleeve. But I'll play along for now. I need to get rid of Madeiras first. Pretty Squad! Are you ready? Anytime, dude! Huh? But we still have a couple of days to go! That's the whole point! It's a surprise attack! Oh my! Aren't you going to fight fair and square? Of course not! Well, let's go kill this guy already! Wait! I'm going with you! Angel Penny Fawn has joined your party. Well, chat, we could use her. Except she's like level 8, <laughs> so she's just actually useless in this run. <laughs> you ready, chat? You ready to see her level? It's gonna be bad. Yeah. It's super bad, chat. <laughs> like, she is... She is not surviving any of the nonsense that we're in. 
I think this is fine. So it sounds like we never got a chance to level up RJ Chaos, just due to the fact that the bonus rank of the stage is really bad. I'm not really sure why they did that. It's kind of disappointing, honestly. Like, if they're going to New Game Plus the story, why doesn't the bonus rank match the story map difficulty? It's not easy to stand in the same place like this for a long time. Yes, I know. Thank you for all your hard work. Lon, are there many angels like you in Celestia? Yes, why do you ask? just made a promise to never go to Celestia. Agreed. I have a date today. It's almost over. Shouldn't you have something better to say? We're just NPCs. What do you expect? There you go, channel little fourth wall. Talk to you. It'd be dumb if all you do is play. Who are you talking to? They know I'm talking to them. Wow, lots of fourth wall. The scary nightmare. I couldn't sleep at all last night. You're a demon of his nightmares? How pathetic. We're dancing around a campfire with some angels. Jeez, that is terrifying. I think watching this has anything new to say. Oops, I did not mean to click out of the game. That was awkward. Well, chat, I almost have enough to buy one more upgrade. I think it's better for me to not use it as long as possible. Love and Parameter actually has like 1,389 health. And Parameter, ironically, one of the tankiest characters as the Glass Cannon Mage. <laughs> like just by far, just way too many stats. Nothing can touch him. Actually insane. We're getting to the point I don't even need SP from items, which is interesting. Yeah, that 121 in on Night Vision. Only made another Pravda necklace or something. Oh, I said Devil Ring earlier, I meant Royal Ring. But yeah, there's only one more unlock to go, and that is Testament. Which we're only 21 deaths from, but I think we need, like, an insane amount of health. So I, I don't think that's gonna happen. We will 100% hit the 300 death requirement. That I'm not worried about. But the other requirements, I don't think are gonna happen. Alright, now that we went through all those cutscenes, let's save and... I guess fist cross. Is there anything worth upgrading at this point? Check out the mana that we have real quick, just to double check. I could technically upgrade to try to get triple XP on something. I don't know if I want to do that or not, though. Perk has an insane amount of mana, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's... It's a shame there's nothing I really want to do it on. I don't think I really want his counterattacks to go up. I mean, well, maybe I do. I don't know. On Warriors, it's kind of a mixed bag. Like, yes, it can be useful when you're fighting low-level monsters, but I have a feeling we're about to deal with some Ultra BS. So if there is some crazy XP up on this map, I will actually triple XP. I didn't think about it before, but I will use it here for sure. Absolute zero in Jotunheim. See what the story has in store for us. Dark Durian? Yeah, the duel isn't till tomorrow, dude! Who cares? It's easy money, dude! Yeah, dude! Getting money for doing nothing is great! And Master Maderas pays us every day! So there's nothing to complain about, dude! Have you heard? Working for Edna's like being a slave, dude! There you go. She demands 20-hour work days, dude! And she only pays when she feels like it! She's ruthless, dude! Who, who does she think she is? I kind of want to go out and defeat Edna myself, dude! I'd love to shut her up for good! Us Dark Durians are invincible, dude! You guys sure talk big. Huh? Dude! Dude, chat. You're gonna beat me, huh? Don't make me laugh! Even if you were joking around, I'm still gonna kill you! But dude, the duel's not till tomorrow! Who can wait that long? This doesn't look good, dude! Don't worry, we have a powerful ally, dude! Please help us, blessed lady, dude! Finally, some action. All this waiting was tiresome. Who's this weirdo? Miss Antoine! Please defeat Edna, dude! Is this a new character? I was supposed to face a renowned opponent. This is indeed a disappointment. 
Hmm. Who is this meager valley girl? Surely this is some sort of jest. Meager? You're about to find out how not all that you are, dude! Miss Antoine is a professional assassin from the Noble Demon class, dude! She always hits her target no matter what! And she enjoys her victim's death pride, dude! Miss Antoine, please use your magnificent super move on Etna! <laughs> Don't die on me too quickly. I wish to enjoy this battle as long as I can. I don't have time to waste on you. I better make this quick. Your confidence. I shall truly enjoy this. Are you ready? My attacks shall deliver a sweet death. Okay, so we're fighting a unique enemy. No entry, huh? Oh, this matters. Okay. We're fighting super... Oh, no. There's so many super pretties. What the heck is this? Okay. Those stats. Um... Well, we're for some reason fighting level 195 people, chat. I better be able to kill these. So we're gonna, I guess, pray that Kirk is just going to smite everything and hope that this is good enough. Operation Buff Kirk is back in full effect. We're moving all of our mages as far away as possible. So we just need five mages. And if we have anybody left over, we could try to clean it up. Man, it is super painful not having tr uh, another mage with a uh, magic buff. This is twice now I've not been able to full buff in one try. I'll have Chris, I guess, participate in the magic buffs here. I wasn't sure which one I used there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Braveheart. Right, what's their defense like? Are they to like under a thousand? Oh, that's much better. Oh, they're oh these stats are terrible. Okay, that's fine. Right, chat. I was like, I was like worried that it's gonna be like a thousand plus. Some of them like, man, this doesn't matter. The best part is, we're still technically improving Chris's damage while using buffs. Since, yep, there we go. He hit rank eight with the staff now, so he does five percent more in from his weapon. So we did actually power him up, even though he's just been using for buffs. Let's see if Hex Zone Obstructed. Okay. Is there a place I could stand where it's not obstructed? I see what has happened. Need to lift you for a second. There we go. So close to getting a kill. And if only the stage at least had XP up. It's so brutal it having bad stage rewards. Um, let's hope this kills, or we might reset on the spot. Oh, wait, hold on. This might not be a problem. That looks bad, but then Rogue Nine. Oh, Rogue Nine got one buff. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Rogue Nine's gonna cover. So Rogue Nine's gonna kill Malcolm. I'll have these two die. They're both weak to fire. Okay, that's going to guarantee the kill here. The Parameter are getting an important level up. And now Rogue Nine about to punch the Prinny in the face. There we go. Important level up for Rogue Nine. So yeah, having an ult melee character so far has actually paid off. There's just like two or three enemies he's able to pick off so we don't lose anybody. <clears throat> Killing all those Prinnies is going to be very, very interesting. Um, as I said before, sadly I just don't have another mage. I don't remember this voice. I don't think this character shows up in another game, the boss we're fighting. Let's move forward to make them move a little bit, and if they don't move from here... 
should be able to hit them next turn. What we're going to do is move in Parameter up here, move Chris also diagonal. So to maintain buffs, we just need one person with Braveheart range, which we do. Buffs maintained. Now we can start buffing Chris and Imperameter. So this is the strategy I was looking to do from earlier, because as mentioned before, I wanted to have some good mages. Now we have two good mages. And we have one and a half melee, which is not too bad. That'll make magic kills much easier. And then moving forward. But none of them are able to hit us. That's the important thing. That is a lot of enemies. Um, so I can hit those, but then I... Mm, it's not really a great way to hit these, so I can kind of block the passageway a little bit, I think, with this. Before I do that, let's make sure we get one more brave part to try to top up our power. It should put us at 5,000, right? Yeah, it does. I could kill at least three of them outright, I'm pretty sure right here. Oh! Oh, they actually survived that. I was not expecting that. Um... I don't think this changes anything. Just need to magic boost these two again. We should have over 3,000 in. One does. Do one more buff then. There we go, much better. Ooh, and Parameter's damage is super good. Um... Hmm. So I can kill a couple of these. Again, that's a leveling up Rogue 9. I'm a little open to attacks here, which is a bit scary. I think I need a body blocker. I could try throwing them to see if they die, but I think I really need to get the experience. I think chat kind of agrees. Like, I, I think if I don't get XP here, I'm just in big trouble in general. I'm gonna move slightly backwards, actually, to put myself out of range, hopefully. One more buff. Just move them a little further out of range. Oh, like, I'm just, like, one pile shy of where I need to be. Hit this guy with a wind, so I think I'll try it. How much damage this does? Oh, one tile shy again. Damn. It's like, do I risk moving forward? Do I have another person to throw me? Okay, I have another person to throw me, if nothing else. Try to do something like this. That was so close to killing. I think I could do something like this then. Have Calvation body block the entrance here, maybe? Maybe they'll go for Calvation? I don't think they'll go for a mage. The Parameter is actually really tanky at this point. I don't think they'll target him, but we'll see, I guess. And then I can protect him by... throwing him backwards a little bit. I think that's the call. And Calvisha might be able to survive a few hits here. If I stand here, I do stop them from really getting around me that much. Let's see, let's see what they go for. Hopefully I don't need to reset off of this. We'll see, though. That's fine. You know what, Chad? Of all the things they could have done with their turn, that was, like, the most tame outcome possible. <laughs> I think we could all agree. I only had one character death? Okay. Right, Chad? Oh, okay. I mean... I'm not going to say no to that. We're definitely going to magic boost. Probably with Frost. There we go. Now, they're at full strength, so we can just kind of wail into them. Like 
still not enough range. Might be a little greedy. Need to do like a little bit of damage. So Omega could probably die to Rogue Nine. Question is more. I think I do this. Before I do this, make sure her range is there. I think she could reach. Almost. If she dies here, this is fine. She's gonna die with pause. We're gonna make sure that he remains buffed. And then I think with our setup, just move out of the way and then Winged Slayer should absolutely dunk on them. It should be a lot of damage. I get it three here. That's looking a lot more doable. I think chat would agree. So I just have two enemies that are kind of weakish here. I can move out of the way of spells if I need to. I think a parameter needs to probably Omega Star. Nicely done. So parameter just got tankier. I can probably hit these two with something. That'll be a good level up for Chris. We're running out of SP, but we do have a couple SP items. I should be able to get the kill here with... Punch. Nice. Rogue Nine's damage, actually relevant. Thank you, Rogue Nine, again. Shark at the buff animations, I don't remember, they were so simple. Uh, it's like, oh man. I have animation skip compared to the original. I wish we picked up a gun at some point for Calvisham. We picked up like an okay one from the story, but it's like not good enough to warrant using it. So Calvisham now is good, I guess? The boss is slowly making their way towards us. I'm gonna put Calvisham probably like right here, honestly. I might even just move Chris back one more space. Now the enemy can't reach us. It has to attack somebody here. The boss is solo coming towards us, which I think is fine, actually, if that's what the boss wants to do. Hmm. I'm just curious. Was that max damage? Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Dodge. Oh, good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Didn't die. Rogue Nine just tanky enough with its 106 defense, which is terrible. But he did it. That's all that matters. All right, so we have one enemy that could basically just get dunked on by the mages. I could slowly whittle this enemy down because they very stupidly put themselves in the corner. Before we do that, let's organize them in a way that makes buffing easier. We're going to move Frost forward a bit, so I don't miss. We're going to do double magic boost. Double magic boost. I go for double attack up here. Perfect. So we negated all the penalties associated with it. So I can kill that other enemy pretty easily. I'm not worried about Kirk taking a hit here at all. This is more of a question of killing this monster. Let's have Chris basically just kind of come over here. Have his way with the enemy. Forward in parameter a little bit. Probably not. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and use Wind. Mega Wind really putting in the work. I'm glad we did this, because we had zero characters with that prior to this. Parameter getting another level. Almost at 5,000 int. Honestly, kind of insane. So if we cut the enemy off, can they even do anything? I mean, they kind of can, I guess. I could block them in. Maybe the... Just got, somehow got more melee. I could try healing with them so they tank a hit, maybe. 
thousand health is pretty high. I don't know if that's enough to get one shot. Now the enemy really messed up. I think we can agree here. I just got free damage on the boss without the boss being able to really do anything against me. I have all my characters still alive. Even if I pull the other people from up there, I don't think it matters. I think the boss is dead next turn. Please don't counterattack. Oh, the counterattack. Damn. Let's hope the boss wouldn't counterattack. Oh, well, we had a par party loss. Well, the only way to avenge a party loss is absolute murder, chat. So I think it's time to dunk on this enemy. I could technically stack them into an enemy for more mana, but I don't think it super matters at this point. Just kill them. Mega fire. Mega fire. Almost killed. Run out of Gansel. Power up Kirk. Let's get Kirk the kill. Revenge for Rogue Nine. Die. Kirk had a very whopping high 5,000 attack power. So at this point, if we pull them, it shouldn't matter. Slowly move forward. Calvisham here, just because. You know what, Calvisham actually managed to survive a strike to the face. I think Calvisham would be proud. <laughs> the real Calvisham, that is. Like, it was kind of... He kind of just took it in the face and was like, nah. Let's try, though. It was cute. Alright, so... Imperameter only 200 in under Kirk in terms of stats. If we pull... Oh, we didn't even pull them? Seriously? I can just do whatever I want here, right? So I could merge these guys together. I'm kind of thinking about it, honestly. Because they should be susceptible to magic, unless their resistance is, like, godly broken for no reason. Oh, it's godly broken for no reason. Well, I mean, I guess that answers that question. Uh, let's... We still have some SP left. Let's have try... Actually use one of our SP recoveries on Chris. So I have enough for spells. Make sure to magic boost here. I think I will actually put Frost away. And get another high movement character. You in here. I kind of want to merge a little bit of them for money. We need like 200,000 more Meseta, um, or equivalency thereof. I don't think what would work here. She's gonna go over here. Is that Calvisham throw Etna? Maybe that would make sense to do. Staff Mastery is 8. How about Imperameter? Staff Mastery also 8. So these two just need to walk forward a little bit and basically just keep casting spells to keep their mastery up. Oh, oops, I accidentally walked in a way that blocked myself. Magic boost yourself. Magic boost yourself. Costs like nothing. Should be good enough. I'm gonna walk like one more space forward. I think we can all agree. That's fine. Them blocking the way is a bit annoying, but that's also fine. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cancel throw. Her over here. Cancel throw you. Do I have somebody with big range? Might have Calvisha. Just need like a little closer. But right now, these enemies are not threatening to me, so I could just group them in. Could do something like this. The furthest one merged. And I could bring Calvisham in to save her. He should live a couple hits. If this doesn't kill, 
which it doesn't matter if it does or not, to be honest. We'll use Braveheart. Actually, we'll use uh, Magic up on these characters. Who has more SP? They're both kind of tied for being low. Use Magic Boost here, then. As I said before, there's no reason to not Magic Boost every turn to build meter. So the more the more ranks they have, the better it is for me. Almost at nine, right? Yep. So another rank up will be five percent more damage, which is kind of huge given that we have a five hundred plus int item equip. That's basically like a big level up. That almost one is expected. R rest in peace, Calvisha. Oh, I was not expecting them to hit from that far. Hello. Um. Uh, that complicates things. I thought for sure I was at- I mean, look how far away I was when I died, chat. I was one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away when I died. That's kind of insane. Well, at least I have one merge for more money. That's how I view it. I should still be able to kill that one. So what we're gonna do, we need to make sure that these two get weakened and or die. They're both weak to- Wind, which is good. Let's move up. Magic boost, because we have to do as much damage as possible here. But hopefully with the two of them stacking here, this should just be a kill. Although we learned earlier that I could get hit from there for no reason. Guess I could just come over here and lure them together. I'll spread them apart so that they have to be in a specific formation. Use Omega Wind here. Both characters. I don't care who gets the kill. Ooh, nobody got the kill. Uh, in that case... I'm gonna sacrifice Try in order to flan Kirk, just in case Kirk gets hit by an AoE. Oh. Or the enemy will randomly hit me from afar and then not use any more abilities? What? What? Wait, hold on, I was here when I got... Oh, because they can't line up. Is it because they can't line up with me? Oh, it's because they can't line up with me. That's cute. The no entry actually stopped them from hitting me. Well, I mean, I'm going to keep whittling them down with whatever we got. <laughs> to the last man standing chat, we're going in. So let's spread out to make them waste their turns. So let's come over here because we know they have trouble hitting this. And let's also come where Try is currently because we know Try wasn't being hit. So in theory, this should work. So what, what are they weak against? Wind? Okay, so Omega Wind putting in the work yet again. Thank you. Actually, I think Chris has more range. I'm gonna flip Koops too. They're both extremely low on SP. Oh, I can't do that actually. Disregard. Ooh, okay. So there we go. Strategy forming. Basically, all my mages are out of SP due to the double range stuff like this, costing a lot. And we could just use Winged Cutter. Okay, we got there in the end. Okay, this is huge. I can now buy a super weapon. With a little bit left over to buy an accessory. I lost? You have much inner strength. So, what happens now? Are we gonna keep this up? Miss Edna, no, Master Edna, I humbly apologize for my actions. As proof of my respect, may I help you to achieve your goal? Sheesh, that was a quick 180. Why should I trust you? Well, of course my offer does not come without a price. If you allow me to join you, you shall be granted one wish. <laughs> By these frillies. Why, dude, why? You got yourself a deal. They're striking a deal without us, dude. You better obey your new master. Uh, master Edna. <laughs> and Tuar has joined. Listen up. For my wish, it's... Whatever! Consider it done, dude! 
What did you ask them to do? You'll find out later. Come on, let's go. I hope it's nothing bad. We survived. We're awake in progress. We have 3.7 million, so I can afford one weapon. One upgrade to beat the game, essentially. That's it. That's the only amount of cash we have. Somehow, with that much money, it is just not good enough. The question is, should I make it a staff or make it a monster weapon? We did just get another character. I'm wondering. Oh, she only joined at level 25? Uh oh. Oh, I, I thought she was going to join at level 100, right chat? I was like, oh, I, I might have actually been able to use her as a genuine monster character. Nope, utter trash. Good, uh, good thing that uh, none of our strategies depended on her being any good. Actually sad how bad this is. I'm just going to unequip her. She isn't worthy of this. Yeah, I know. How dare she be like 190 and join us at 25? What nonsense. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else that would benefit from this increase. I think so. At this point, I think all my imp boosters are on one character. Technically improve her? Sure, why not? We'll, we'll put a testament on uh, Gonna Die. Why not? 211 hit. That's like actually silly. See, if we were using Calvician for damage, that would have been like one of the big upgrades of all time for him. But we never got a gun, so. Sadly, Calvician did not go to full strength. However, he did face tank. That face tank did save the run at one point, because it stalled all the enemies as they could not get past him. Uh, I will buy another Eclair. I will buy probably a Bloody Mary. We have one more healing, one more utter. We have three SP recoveries. I probably need one more super heal. As long as we're just basically 1v1ing a strong boss and I don't get one shot, I should be able to just out heal what they do. The problem is, can I have my other character survive long enough to do it? 19 SP while also healing is kind of important. Take that. Any last second upgrades in here that I should know about? You buy really cheap slippers that barely cost us anything. 237 attack bell. That's not bad. One thing I kind of wish about the rearrange... I guess I gotta do something like this. I don't really want these characters selected. I want something like this. It is a little tedious to do this, I'm not gonna lie. Because I don't want to sort it by level. I want them in a very specific order. Because we have a lot of level 1 characters that are actually still used at our chains. Something like this is probably fun. Like, I, I will basically never play with the printies, because there's no point to using them. I could put my... I health character. In please. Up on the list a little bit. I like Hogmiser's in here too. Hogmiser legit useless. Like, what is his level 12 self gonna do, Chad? I'm not even gonna bother unequipping them. <laughs> Just at no point. Alright, so I'm really happy I got booth. Most of our characters have slippers of some sort. So, I guess I can wait until I feel a stage is too hard before buying an item upgrade. It might not even be necessary in the run. But we're on presumably one of the final three or four stages left in the game, so let's go to Endless Light. How hard will this be? No story. Okay, what's in here? Damage 20%, attack plus one. Oh, and there's archers? Ew. 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 Rude. And they're in a way I can't really hit them, right? Because they're up there. How annoying. Wow, and they're right in the spawn, too. That's ultra annoying. Alright, so what we need to do... 
I don't have a good AoE for this. Like, we're so close to having a good one, but just not quite. If only there was a way to hit all four of them with one melee. I guess in theory... I could just sacrifice my own companions if I really need to. I prefer not to do that. Oh, actually, there's not too many people left in this stage. That's not too bad of an idea. So, like, I could line them up for a... We get Slayer. I'd have to position them in kind of a weird way, though. Like, I'd have to do something like this. So I could throw three people. It would take three, it would take five to buff. That's seven, the protagonist is eight, and then two mages. Maybe I'm just thinking about if that would be worth doing. Well, actually, the problem is I'm going to block myself. Mm. Alright, we might be experimental here. I want to see if I could survive a turn against this. Because we know they're, like, ultra snipers. But my we know our damage is not great either. Kind of like a lose lose here, honestly. I could try to combine them into one monster, but that sounds like actual insanity. Unless the resist is, like, super low. Their defense is pretty high. Hmm. So I could... So let me think. Since we have so much movement, I could do... This instead? Maybe this would be a better choice. So I could get almost all of them in one strike with, like, a Blade Rush, for example. I was just trying to think, because we're, we're kind of in puzzle mode, how to beat the rest of the game. Um, then I could summon another melee. Then I could summon some mages if I want to. We know I'm going to get sniped. There's no reason to really care. I could try to have Imperameter survive. I think having Try would make sense. Or else would make sense. It would make sense. Boop her here. If she dies, she dies. I think I can have Imperameter walk in the corner, and there should be enough body blockers who should survive this. Actually, instead of Imperameter, do that. Let's have Chris do that. And what we can do is teleport you, Blade Rush. Hopefully this gets a kill. It did not even come close. Wow. That is super awkward then. Well, I guess it just depends on how far these bow users can hit. They could definitely kill the starting lineup of this area. Hmm. Might be better to block some passageways here. Let's do that. Better than nothing. And let's try to hit them probably with Omega Star. Well, they are weak to ice. I guess I could go for ice. There's more weak to ice than not, so I think it's worth going for. You know what? That was actually a surprisingly close kill. I'm not gonna lie, that was really, really, really close. Without any buffs. So maybe maybe the truth is just to use a parameter at this point. Because it looks like his the defense compared to resistance is very different. Wow, Rogue Nine actually survived that? Wow, chat. Rogue Nine levels actually mattering? He didn't die in one hit, and that's all that matters. Holy. Now we can kind of bully them here if I need to. Who do I want to give the kills to? Probably just Imperameter at this point. We'll still have Chris's backup damage, but honestly, Imperameter's damage is just kind of out of control. Also, I'm not going to use the Omega Star here. That's a little overkill. We'll do this, though. Now 
we can have Chris come over here. Nice, huh? Let's try to buff his magic as well as imperimeters. It should even out their magic differences. Uh, go for Mega Star times two. Maybe it's good enough. Indeed it was. So here we go. I am still surprised that Rogue Knight survived that, but hey, that means he's tankier, <laughs> right, chat? Like, I mean, if it works, it works. I am not gonna complain. We are absolutely moving our mages as far away as possible. We're gonna put somebody in here in case I need to spawn Calvishan. But honestly, right now, we have a tanky character. Unfortunately, due to their speed being low, we're not seeing a lot of dodges. But honestly, if these other four don't move, we're in a really good spot. And even if they do, I don't think it matters. Oh, that's gonna kill Rogue Nine. Rogue Nine put up a fight. But unfortunately for them, they set themselves up for a really nasty Winged Slayer. The question is, how many arrows do I think I could take? Before we do that. Do you have any other people for buffs? Indeed I do. I'll summon Gamzel here. I'm sure my strength is basically at 5k. It is not at 5k. And I get another buff character. I forgot to see what her abilities were. Oh, I technically have... Navy healing? Whatever. Use Braveheart for sure. Definitely magic boost the two of these characters. Their damage should still be insanely good. Yeah, it's still pretty good. That's good damage. And then I just gotta AoE them with Omega Stars and just GG. We'll start Chris off in the combo. Ooh. They're gonna be in a way that I might get hit here. That's a little unfortunate. But I think overall we should still be fine here. Nicely done. Air meter can probably survive one attack. Obviously him leveling also helps with his survival. Uh, is there anything I want to do? I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually just place Calvisham and throw them. <laughs> right, chat? Like, get out of here, right? Get out of here. You're not hitting our mages. Show them, Calvisham. Throw them around. They don't deserve it. Oh, you meleeed me? That was foolish. Calvisham, no! He attacked, damn. See, this is why you need a no counter character. But hey, we weakened them up a little. Both of these are weak to fire. That's unfortunate for them, as we like to say. Chris. Ooh, I didn't check his resistance. That would explain it. Um, hmm. Well, this is awkward. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can still stall. I'm gonna have Etna throw you out of here once we damage you. Let's move these characters kind of over here, I think. That way we're far away. Magic boost for the future. Probably could have done that first. Hey, at least our damage is still pretty good. Yeah, so we'll do whatever damage we can here. You're weak to fire. We're gonna have Etna throw now. I did not want to merge them, but you know what? That has happened. <laughs> we gotta live with that choice. Thank you, Calvisha. Hopefully you get some rest. You know what? That is probably the best PC. I don't need to know about charging. Get out of here. Anyway, so let's see. We have now a super character, but resistance is bad, right? Yeah, it's not that good. Set him here. I would like to improve my damage again. I should be able to basically damage all of these characters pretty heavily. 
Definitely want to make sure magic boost is used here. I think double magic boost is the play here. That puts everybody pretty high up. Pretty close to killing, so we could basically just hit them with wind ups, and this should get a kill. As I said before, Omega Wind has been used a, a very shocking amount of times, to be honest. I'm very happy that we picked it up. No! He dodged it with Ninja! Ugh! That is the worst case scenario. Man! I was worried that would happen. Okay. Chris, Chris, Chris cleaned it up. Oh my gosh. So, because his speed value was higher than our hit, he could just auto-dodge us. That could have been much worse. Alright, we still have... a chance here. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> I, or I think that was Chris, right? Yeah, it was Chris. Uh, can hit you with ice, huh? I am just going to be a decoy, because I think that's the best choice in this scenario. We're moving Parameter basically as far back as possible in a moment. The Parameter's magic score. Oh, it could go much better. Now I'm Parameter's at full strength. We're just going to do Hurricane Slash into Ice. Nice kill for an Parameter. Well, we got even more money. So I could afford a minor upgrade, I guess, too. So, so far, don't need to get a super weapon yet. <laughs> right, chat? Like, so far, don't need it. It costs 3.3 mil. I could buy a 1.1 mil weapon, which could technically improve characters like Rogue Nine. I hope we're near the end, chat. Terrible cold. It's waiting for us. You look pretty serious. That's not like you at all. Mr. Vyers mentioned that you killed the Overlord's son. Is that true? Oh, that. Yeah, I killed him. Why do you care? So it wasn't a lie. Why would he lie? Why? Why did you have to kill him? What's it to you? To tell you the truth, I was sent from Celestia to assassinate the Overlord. But I can't kill people without a good reason, even if the Seraph commands it. That's why I need to know. Why did you kill him? Are you dense? Why are you telling me your secret mission? Miss Edna, please answer my question. He may have been the Overlord's son, but he was such a selfish little brat. So, I shot him with my gun. I guess they're pretty lethal. I'm glad he's dead. There you go, Chan. You killed him because you didn't like him? Yep. But what if he liked you? <laughs> yeah, right. That would never happen, even if heaven and hell collided. That kid hated love and friendship more than anything. It's true. He did, he did hate everything. Hell are so weird. There's no point in feeling bad for someone who's already dead. No, I'm sad for you, Miss Etna. What? You don't have to pretend. I know you didn't mean to kill him, and now you're starting to regret it. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, right. I feel great. Why are you denying the truth? Even if you feel no remorse, you should openly express your feelings. Dot, dot, dot. However I feel, the prince is still dead. So stop bringing him up. I don't want to think about that brat. The Overlord must be sad, too. Dot, dot, dot. Who knows? There's no going back, no matter what we do. I see. He sent the perfect candidate. She should be able to bridge the gap between Celestia and the Netherworld. Okay. So we're not quite at a boss yet. Damage 
enemy boost time. What the heck is this? Oh no. What? They're level 200. Holy. What is this stage? Oh, and there's ninja. Come on. You're so hard to hit. Oh man, chat. This is looking abysmal. Wow, this is just so rude on so many levels. I don't even know where to begin with this. Yeah, this this actually just looks like hell. So I can move their triple boost off. It's fine. We could go do that. Oh, actually, you know what would be huge? Wait a minute, chat. There's a small mercy in the stage. I just realized. <gasps> wait, can I? Wait, hold on. We might be able to cheese the stage. As intended. Silence. All of the enemies. Uh, I'll rope nine do this, I guess. Well, I've got a bite to do it. Then I can damage them, chat. This actually makes a big difference. Them taking 20% over time is about all I need to one shot. Alright, so that was very lucky that, that all that was within range. So now we just need to survive. Operation Tank Everything is now in effect. I don't really care whatever the other things are. Let's have the Calvisham. Probably throw this. Come on. How did. There we go. <laughs> it was stubborn chat. That's. Okay, so if we could not diagonal throw, this would have been very annoying. So we'll, we'll count that as a win for sure. Now I just need to stall. Damn, I really should have gotten a cleric. Oh well. So I don't know if they're gonna slowly come forward, but we need to make sure that at no point do they ever pass us. Let's go ahead and start buffing everybody to the best of our abilities. We can... Oh yeah, we want to make sure also that none of our mages die no matter what. So I am really deep over here. I swear if they hit me. I'm gonna lose my mind chat. Like, look, look how far away I'm casting. This better not hit me in any sense of the way. Alright, let's use try here. So I don't even need to be, like, super efficient either. Wow, they're all weak to win. That is really tempting to hit them with an ability. So I know they have silence. So as long as they don't get, well actually they don't actually wait a minute yeah they have silence wait i don't have to worry about anything as long because they can't get past me because they all collectively move as one wait i can exploit this hold on chat the biggest exploit is coming we're actually just gonna chip out him with imperimeter i will still buff our damage a little bit though this is better than nothing i'm gonna get two brave hearts potentially out of this. That means I also don't have to really care about where I place them. Silence is kind of huge here. I'm just noticing that there's literally zero tiles in which they can do that. So I can lift the 20% damage because I want to make sure we get kills. 100%. Um, but at this point, I could just kind of wail on them. I mean, they can't really do anything, right? Like, most of them are weak to wind, which is brutal. So, uh, die? <laughs> right, chat? Just actually perish? Oh, I keep forgetting. Chris has more range with it because he's used it longer. Let's move Chris here and then Imperimeter closer. I forgot that that was a mechanic that they had. All the use of Omega Wind actually matters here. And again, like, um, I feel like I've used a Mega Win almost more than everything in this session specifically. Nicely done. Finish up. So now Kirk is even tankier. He's got over a thousand in resistance and defense. We just need to not die with the other characters. 
We should be fine. So they're going to take 20%, which means one-shotting is going to be easier. Okay, this is fine. So yeah, I can just kind of chip them out. I can even combine them for money. Hmm. How convenient. Uh, we're going to have Calvisham probably heal. The Calvisham important. There we go. So we're seeing the ninja actually dodging sometimes, which is funny, because we saw a miss. I should have taken 500 there, I only took 300. Now at this point, I only need one Braveheart to basically buff them, and the rest could just go towards Chris and Parameter over and over. And now we're actually getting, like, decent buffs on our mages. We'll catch up soon. Etna, I don't even need at all. I need this character. So, honestly, if I could just lure the rest of them towards me, I should get a free kill. I definitely do not want to kill them with the stage, because I think I genuinely need, at minimum, weapon proficiency. Is anything to build proficiency here? I don't mind taking it slow. Alright, chat, this is fine. Rogue Nine get- Oh, I killed him with the chip damage. That's unfortunate. Uh, everything else, though, just kind of free kills. So I could take off the damage up if I want to. Probably want to do it at some point. Maybe one more turn. That way they lose at least 60% at least health. Because I could merge them into one super being at this rate. Because they can't possibly kill Kirk with where they're going. And I could just heal again with this. Like, maybe? In the meantime, I could just magic boost. Great part. Boost. Now all of our stats are at max. Yeah, let's have them come closer. So we can afford one more turn on damage, and we could kill this one if we need to. I think we should. Perk out a little extra there. Go for a double brave heart here. So now we're just kind of we're just kind of relaxing. So next time we need to activate it. So they'll be at twenty percent health, which makes everything basically one shotable. We're just going to keep using magic buffs on ourselves to improve our proficiencies. Although right now, honestly, our proficiencies are pretty good. But it doesn't hurt to try to push it higher. Because we're seeing what a difference is with the staff. So Chris is almost at 9. Parameter is already at 9. So next turn, we need somebody to potentially help out. There's another Eclair here. And now they're all going to be super weak. I can take advantage of my super movement to combine them. That might kill him. But let's go ahead and move the damage up out of the way with Gensel. Uh, I don't need Gensel here right now. Let's do... Etna, and she could just lift it if I need to right now. Everybody else could just be kind of combined as I need. Because I'm at the point where I could just melee everybody to death, and there's honestly nothing they could really do to stop me. You know what I mean? I need to just combine them into one enemy, and I can even remove the silence temporarily with another character. Before I do that, let's make sure we Braveheart this. And I can put away Frost. I just need another 7 move character to potentially move Silence. So yeah, so now we can use our skills to kill them and they can't do anything about it. I think it's the right play. So we can move Calvisham here if I need to. Oh, 
What level is this ninja? 200? Alright, so we need to combine the monsters and throw the ninja onto him. The ninja is the only problem. We do not want to fight a high-level ninja. We are never going to kill them. It's just not going to happen. So what we need to do is probably... Move you here. And we can throw the other one closer. Do something like this. Should work. Now he's super high level. Worth a lot of money. And whenever we want to... Oh, I need another runner. Oh, but I have more characters. Okay, I'm good. See, this is where movement up matters. Now I just lift this up for a second. Right? I throw the damage tile away, because we don't need it anymore. Right now, I could just walk up. We need him to block. Nobody's coming this way, so I can move these two up a little. Save them some MP costs, maybe. As long as I do this, it doesn't matter if there is silence initially, either. We could weaken him up. If we happen to get the kill, we get the kill. I don't think it matters. I mean, it would be nice if we did, but if we don't, we don't. Omega Wind used yet again, chat. <laughs> Omega Wind almost our higher, highest ranked spell on every character at this point. Even though we've barely had it in the playthrough, it's caught up to everything for some reason. Oh, and Parameter getting that kill. Nice. Nice. That's going to be a lot of money. Now all we do is... Oops, they get silenced. Can we leave a character here. We still have a character left, so I can even just leave somebody to potentially throw. Honestly, this could... It's going pretty well. What's their magic totals at? Oh, they're not even at full strength. Oops. Yeah, oops. I could have been magic boosting more. So all we do is just keep lifting up the silence thing, and we just have utter control over the map. So I think we're playing this about as good as we could play it. We managed to squeeze in another big money draw. That's fine. If some of the enemies hit like this, it doesn't matter. Oh, they killed the ninja. That's unfortunate. Oh, I took poison damage. I was like, what just killed me? Yeah, that ninja's gonna be a problem. That's like the only unit I'm scared of in this entire menagerie of nonsense. Um. So I could have Edna come back. I'm a little sad they took out Rogue Nine, I'm not gonna lie been very helpful to have earlier. Where would I need to throw them? Something like this? I need a body blocker. This person needs to stay here. I could just block with one of the mages here. Because at this point, we have a win. It, there's, there's no doubt I have the win. It's just, how do I stack them in a way that's creative enough that will give me a kill? That's what I'm thinking about right now. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is as far as she can move. We could do something like this. Throw here. Something like... If I stack these here, I can throw... I can't do that. 
brain is not braining. Okay, I need to do it to the... The ghosts have to combine, but I have to also be able to reach the ninja. I can only hit one person here. So I guess if I throw them here... This work? I could just block with Etna's face, which I probably want to do. Might lose a mage here. Let's see. Okay, we need a body blocker for sure here. So we're gonna double magic boost. Do as much damage as we can here. Amount of SP anyway, so that doesn't really matter for the other character. That's a lot of damage. Let's have Chris start things off. Omega Fire, making a comeback. Do another Omega Fire. Hopefully the resistance isn't too crazy. Nice! And Parameter getting yet another kill. Okay, that's kind of huge. Now we just have some very weak enemies. As long as I remember to cancel the turn over here, we're gonna be fine. So sorry, Gansel, you were about to get absolutely deleted. You know, that's not who I thought you were going to target, but okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, eh, whatever. So we should probably combine these just to uh, get more honey. And then just come over here and kill them this way. Now we just need to deal with the other enemy, which I think between two mages, I think we should be fine. And I can even use Etna as a deterrent. I'm gonna move... Now I'm gonna move Gansel further away. I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have enough SP for that. Um, well, I guess I magic boost the parameter. We're gonna try to have Chris get the kill. If Chris can't get the kill, we finish with the other character. That's just how I view this. Ooh, that's a lot of health. Well, you know what? Let's, let's rank up Omega Star. Parameter really coming out ahead on this one. Putting in the work, as it were. Now it's just me and you. You are so done. GG. Look at this money total, chat. Look at that money total. I might actually be able to afford two super weapons now. We're pretty close. I can afford like a 3.3 .3 and a 2.2. Like that is not an insignificant amount of money we just acquired. So if we struggle at all on the final stage, I can get two weapon upgrades right now. The only thing I should make sure to do is get more flun. Because without that, we absolutely die. But we can always check to see if there's any other cheapies. You get another pair of slippers, I guess. I don't think that'll matter in the long scheme. Seven movements. Retro is eight. Ooh, maybe I can have Retro have nine. Because that would actually allow us to hit some things where we would normally have to throw. Because if you think of it this way, I normally can throw four spaces and then move five. But what if I could throw them four and move them nine? I think that's kind of worth. Demons here are surprisingly friendly. Hmm, that's because we know that fighting only brings sadness. Oh my. See, you must have a painful past. Oh, Flan, you're being fooled. Never trust a demon. Well, chat, this might be the final stage of the thing. We did it, question mark. Ice Queen sounds like probably the last one. Oh, no, one more. So we're going to fight Madaris at the end. We're going to get a legendary bow for no reason. Oh, boy. Um... Death surrounds us. So I think this is just one of those scenarios where I need four really solid characters. Wow, Kirk's attack power is so high right now, chat. Remember when we Bravehearted to 3,000 or so? <laughs> He's just naturally there. Like, okay. Well, this will help significantly, I think. Though, getting hit by this many attacks is very bad for us. There's something we could do. We can stall 
with our mages in the corners, I think. Stop them from coming in. But then how are we going to get this many kills? I think this just might be an Imperimeter stage. I just don't see any other way around this. Oh, three weak to wind. So I think it's Operation at Protect Imperimeter. We can also use Chris to some extent here. Let's get our buffs going. Kirk, I think, is just straight up going to have to tank. Rogue 9 is straight up going to have to tank. Maybe one other thing on the side, but I think I could kill these as well. I think Try might be able to tank this for one hit and then die. See, this is where, if I had a third really good mage, I think we could clean everything up, but I don't have enough accessories for that to happen, unless I really want to spend my money on this, which I'd prefer not to. Now their stats are out of control. Keep in mind, I might not die to the ghost immediately, especially not with Imperimeter. I might actually just body block with Imperimeter here. Hope he survives for a little bit. You can also pick him up so that he doesn't die. Guess we'll see where we are in terms of damage. Well, that was an important kill, actually. Now we created a little bit of a safe zone here. First leveling is also good. Uh, I think I just stall. So if I do this, they can't move. do whatever damage we can, even if it's not much. Man, oh man. Actually, you know what we can do? <sighs> Winged I want a Winged Slayer, and it would technically be good, but I think I just got a Hurricane Slash this. As bad as that feels. Let's see how this goes. You know what I can... Oh, they might be able to come around the sides. Um, is there another character with high health? I'm gonna have Gunna Bite it, pick it in Parameter. Okay. That's, this is fine so far. We lost most of our mages, to be expected. They didn't get to hit in Parameter, which is huge. Most of them are weak. Oh, you know what they're weak to? They're weak to getting starred in the face. <laughs> That's what these guys are weak to. Get out of here, fools. Right, Chad? Had enough of you. I need Frost to kind of delay a little bit here. So let me back up slightly. Get another combo going. Let's do something like this. Well, Chris come in. Even if they hit Chris, he's pretty tanky, as I said before, against spells. Most of these guys should be using in. Let's have him use Omega Star to get an idea of how much damage we're going to do. Not bad. Level up is huge here. Uh, not much I could do here. I think I just got a tiger or triple strike. Built some meter. Actually, not a bad usage just to hit him like that, just to weaken them a little. I think I'm gonna lose basically all my buffs, which is really awkward. But I don't think there's a way for me to stop this. Rogue 9 holding out as long as he can. Kirk will not take a ton of damage here, at least. Okay, 
Okay, I had a feeling Chris could probably survive a hit. I was right. Rogue Nine, probably gonna die. I could stall with an Eclair. So we need Imperameter to basically start cleaning up everything here. We'll have Chris kill this one. Nice and easy little Mega Fire here. And if he levels, that's fine. It just means we have even more stats. But we need to make sure these remaining enemies start getting nuked. So we're kind of on the outside, which is awkward for them, but good for us. We're finally using Omega Ice after a long break. Wait, able to kill. Alright, since these guys are like this, let's reset her. And probably hit with... Minion Slayer? I'm able? No, I'm not able to. Attack, Attack zone interrupted. So sad. I was gonna say, three hits there would have been pretty good. So yeah, so unfortunately they're kind of all over, so it's a little hard to get what I want out of this. I'm gonna move Chris a little further back, because none of them seem to be that close to me, honestly. The tank. I need like a little more damage. But I can't hit the ones that I want to hit. Unless I can wig it cutter. Maybe? Uh, so I'm putting him closer to death. I'm gonna stop Rogue Nine for being double teamed as much. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely like every man for himself at the moment. Ooh, SP is really low due to using Omega earlier. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just kill him with Mega Fire, because that would be the most efficient thing we could do. didn't kill. Actually, that is super bad. I guess her int dropped too much. Yeah, it did. Hmm. Well. We'll get there eventually. On the plus side, Kirk is so tanky, he should be able to clean up most of this if it really comes down to it. Probably want to use Omega Ice here. Level up there is super key. We're gonna put a parameter in the corner. Um, yeah. I mean, we're surviving. Rogue Nine surprisingly getting through this. So his levels totally mattered, by the way, chat. He would have been dead if he was even just like four levels lower. He would have been ultra dead by now. Uh, let's have Chris use probably a Mega Ice or something. Mega Ice might have to work. Alright, so Chris needs to get more SP, so we're gonna move him out of range. Next turn, he'll recover. We have Imperameter to potentially pick up some stuff here. Could walk him over here and make a wind. Maybe that would make sense. I mean, the two of them are just kind of holding their own. There's, like, literally the entire, the entire enemy army is chasing us. Not quite enough to... Wait, did I do the wrong element? Oh no, the resist is just that high. So now our stats are starting to fall off, which sucks. But, as I said before, we should be able to do something out of this. Hmm. I wonder if it's actually better for him to start cutting off over here. And then move forward and blade. Yeah, maybe that would make more sense. Let's offer a decoy for these guys. Let's go ahead and blade rush... For Winged Slayer, this maybe? Can't do it because the back zone. Let's do Blade Rush then. So we are gradually weakening them. And this is fine. If they want to melee me, like, that's a mistake. Why are they hitting each other? Oh, they killed Rogue Nine. That's unfortunate. Rip Rogue Nine. Alright, so Chris needs to restock. I can't believe we actually ran out of SP. I might have to just buff Kirk the rest of the way. I think this is about all I can do. Yeah, I think my damage fell off too hard. We're gonna come over here. And let's stay alive. Actually... 
I'll need to do so quite yet. If we could get him with a Brave Heart, I think we're fine. In hindsight, I should have double checked to make sure I had more uh, HP recovery. We're like just not strong enough to deal with it. Let's have him come over here. Because then they should put me in Brave Heart range. Oh, that's a dead end. Uh, well. Final stand, I guess. <laughs> right, chat? It's just. I got nothing else to do. I might as well stop them from hitting me from a distance, at least. Alright, so it's down to Kirk. Man, it's like so close to hitting like multiple people, but they're just like not quite lined up. Okay, Kirk leveling there is huge. Any defense increase is huge at this point. We're resistance up. So I might be able to have Kirk actually save them. So what I could do is use Imperimeter to heal. I'm really running low on heal. Get a little bit of SP back. Chris can tank this for a little bit. I can actually have him win cutter from here, I think. I can. What we could do is get closer. This is going to be the most convoluted way that we're going to beat this, but we're going to do it. So he is potentially in danger here. I have to be careful. I have to heal with him next turn no matter what. How many healing items do I have left? Two? Damn, chat, right? Like, we went through them all here. Save our mages. Just don't die. Ooh, right chat? Ooh, a little, a little spooky there. Okay, let's make sure to full heal here. Braveheart for sure. All right, now I might be able to get a nasty Winged Slayer. It's actually huge. Now we need to just back out. We just don't want to get surrounded by them. Back out a little bit. Them attacking us was ultra stupid, and we will absolutely take that. <laughs> right, chat? We are not afraid of taking that. Um... So let's go ahead and Braveheart again. Braveheart again. Now Kirk is starting to pick up in damage, as opposed to just losing damage. The 5,000 here is huge. And now they're almost in ways I can abuse it. <sighs> right, chat? We're, we're getting there. We have one more heal. Okay, they want to normal attack me. That's foolish, but we'll take it. Makes our job easier. Um, if we get Slayer again, I might have to do it. I have to sacrifice. I'm trying to decide if I need to get, get a character killed or not. I can do this to try to protect them for a turn. I think Wind Cutter would be better. If I can wing it Slayer 3, that would have been huge. I can't. Um. Okay, level up here is big. Might just have to body block them. I don't think there's too much else I could do here. Oh wow, that guy is so much health. What the heck? Why is he at 14,000 health? Uh oh. Uh, we might need to be decoys for longer. Alright, so Imperimeter can barely do anything. He's basically out of SP. Move Chris forward one, parameter forward one. Try to conserve their SP. Don't even have enough to AoE. That's so sad. 
Yeah, the resist is as high as my other stats. I can hit the other ghost for damage. Maybe in theory I could Omega win the other one. Maybe. That's all I got left, I guess. I think that killed him. We're down to just three. We're gonna lose somebody here for sure. Oh, we're so close. Uh, can Parameter kill this one? Oh no, he's out of MP. Unless I save him somehow? Is it possible? Maybe? Do we definitely kill the other guy? They're like just... I don't really want a bat suit. That's not going to be good enough. Um, That guy's going to die. That's for sure going to happen. Are we going to lose by just, like, a little bit? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Let's try to intercept them like this. And then make this guy walk further back. Maybe this will work. You know what? That didn't do, like, a thousand damage. That didn't do a thousand damage, and we will absolutely take that. All right, chat? We will absolutely take that. So I can heal next turn. If they want to melee me, this is fine. Actually, their melee is kind of scary. I, I no longer want them to melee me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much more damage still. Maybe we could do hit and run? Let's see what happens. That actually kind of worked. We stalled him for a turn. That's all that matters. Fire and Ice doesn't do enough damage for me to care. Then I could just do something like... We have one more heal if we need it. It's not a good heal, though. It's going to be so close, chat. I don't know if this will be good enough. But what we can do is this to troll him. This should really confuse the AI and give me a chance to heal. Because he shouldn't be able to hit me. Alright, we're learning the exploits. He can only hit at angles. This is huge. So we're back down to base. We're absolutely healing 750. Um, I'm walking in the corner. Oh, I didn't think he could hit me from there. Uh, that is a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's do this then. Oh, it's so close! It's so close, chat! We're so close! Oh my god, so much one-shot me! Oh my gosh, get out of here! Get out of here! Well, anyway, now we can afford another super weapon, I think. And we got the legendary bow. Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? Calm down, Volcanus. You're beginning to scare the spirits. I was gonna say, in Parameter, Kirk, Chris, Calvisham, Rogue Nine, they are carrying this run so hard with damage and dodging, and I'm like, please just make it to the end of the game. We have like one stage left, I think. Who cares about the spirits? I have received a report on Flan's activities in the Netherworld. Dot, dot, dot. Flan has failed to assassinate the Overlord, and she's become friendly with the demons. Not the demons, chat. Assassinating an Overlord is a much too difficult assignment for an angel trainee. Let me carry out this mission. Volcanus, tell me, when were you appointed god? What are you talking about? Uh, I am here to serve my purpose as an archangel. Did you think I wouldn't know? Uh, I cannot accept this state of affairs. Everything is proceeding as scheduled. I have every faith in Flan to fulfill her duties. Her idealism shall hold firm. 
Wait, there's another area? Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chat, no. <laughs> How many more stages are there? I thought that was it. Like, one more after this? Holy, is there a whole nother set of levels? Oh, boy. <laughs> what level is this boss gonna be at? Holy. We got 6.3 million. I'm still not convinced we need to get an upgrade yet. We, we can choose. I probably want to get a sword, and I probably want to get at least one staff. The problem is that our sword is so good right now because we high roll the gladiator. The physician doesn't matter as much. Although honestly, the resistance from our items did save us. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, Imperimeter's raw health total. 1700 actually matters. Look at that. I give Alvisham a bow just because. Just to say that we gave him a weapon. I don't even think he's good with it. I think it's just there. No. No, he's terrible with the bow. But you know what? It's fine. Let's let's see if there's a good weapon. Oh chat. Oh my. I think I have to take this, right? Double teacher statistician? Right? I I have to take that, right? I don't I don't think there's even a choice. Like that weapon is basically as good as I could ever hope for it to be. Yeah, that is a big upgrade for Imperimeter. That and, and the fact that he gets more XP also might matter. And we still could get one more stage and get another Super Sword for Kirk. Because Kirk's weapon is already pretty good. Like, you could like we're only gonna get like 50 attack more for Kirk. It's not gonna be like too crazy, because we high rolled really well on his weapon. But in Parameter, oh my. <laughs> right, chat? Oh my, another 300 in. Chris will get a little bit of a buff too. So that's nice. We basically upgraded two characters. So, and so Chris's stats are almost where Imperimeter was, and now Imperimeter is just on his own tier right now. <laughs> he shall not be stopped with his levels. So what can we do with the- so we have another Super Staff. I guess in theory it could go to our Red Mage. I think she's our best character. Unless I want to give it to, uh, Try or something. Probably makes sense to give it to her at this point. Kind of funny that we actually have like a upgrade for most of these characters. I guess that kind of works. Other staff is kind of disappointing. So we almost have a third mage, but we she doesn't she never got leveled up. So she's always gonna be so far behind compared to everybody else, sadly. Alright, so we need to clear one more stage and we might be able to find a Kirk upgrade. But I think Chris going up another 90 in, and then, uh... And Parameter getting almost 200 more is kind of insane. And plus now he is Statistician. So that was a really important pickup. And we get more money whenever Parameter gets kills, because we have Broker. So honestly, this is pretty much best case scenario for us. And this Night Vision is insane. I... I'll check very briefly here, but I really doubt we're gonna get better. You can see if I purchase one more, like, super item, I'll rank up the shop, but the odds of me getting enough money to then also purchase again are... I'm pretty sure basically zero. Also, that reminds me, we definitely need health up items. We we cannot afford to not have these. Uh... A few more eclairs. Them adding stats to ourselves is actually not too bad. Might be worth messing around with a little bit. I think I don't get Flan anymore, because most of our characters are above 20 hundred. I definitely want to get a small hit point recovery with SP. I guess in theory, we might be able to rank it up on something cheap, but... Before, I'm not holding my breath on that one. I almost thought that said 420 attack, and I was like, wait, <laughs> I was like, wait, is that like the most godly belt of all time? 
Then I saw what it was, and I got disappointed. Um, yeah, we need more healing. How many healing items do we have, by the way? Protein Shake is actually too weak. I might actually sub it out. We saw we have, like, over a thousand SP at this point. Take another Eclair. As much healing as we can afford, chat. Let's go. Resistance up? Okay, that's potentially useful. As long as Kirk is able to survive strikes, that's all that matters. The moment Kirk is no longer able to tank, the, the run is over, chat. The run is just dead in the water. Two statisticians, that's funny. Ooh, declare with stat ups. That may be relevant. I have three stat ups. I think we deserve three more healing items that will go forward. I don't care how much this costs, we need this. It is annoying I have to keep resetting the shot, but there's nothing else I can do here. We've almost ranked up. Interesting. Favorite. Okay, we'll get one more Eclair. And the healing items were so clutch in this run, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, Eclair with a little bit of SP? Absolutely, chat. Absolutely. Oh, what, I'll buy another Eclair since we're here, even if we capped. Do we have shortcake for when we're really, really done with the game? We could use that later. Well, actually, you know what? We got random armor. Just put it on one of these characters arbitrarily. I don't think it matters who. Why does Gonna Die have it, but not the other characters? Weird. Sure. Let's give him slippers, too, so he doesn't feel left out. We did it, chat. Look at that. We have a wall of, like, multi moo characters. Let me rearrange them by one thing. Okay, so we got a super staff, so as long as they don't have 2,000 something resistance, we're fine. If they do, we can't get an upgrade, so we're, we're locked in. We came so far! The dearest should be around here somewhere. That wuss, where's he hiding? As long as my memories are safe, I don't really care. Hey, this feeling... Why? Why did you kill him? Uh, that dog tried to get into the food storage. It's his own fault. Is that just Laurel's voice on Noble Lima? Uh, I had no choice. Come on, let's go. Why did you... You were so weak! Idiot! Ah, so here you are. How are you doing? Are you getting used to your new home? Huh. Is something wrong? It's nothing. It's just... some noble demon killed this dog. But it's okay. I won't go hungry anymore. Kinda glad. You should be true to your heart. You're sad, aren't you? Huh? You don't have to pretend to be strong. You're kinda strange. You didn't have to dig a grave for it. <laughs> Am I? Yes. You're not like other demons. And inviting a commoner like me to stay at the Overlord's castle is unheard of. Do you believe that noble should reign over everyone else? Da, da, da. Does being a noble or a commoner or even a demon or an angel really matter? Is our discrimination necessary? Should we not strive for a world where everyone is treated equally, despite their class or species? You're really strange. But if you're going to make the netherworld a better place, I want to help you do it. I promise to make the netherworld a better place to live. Was that a part of my memory? Why? I haven't gotten my memories back from Medeiros yet. Did some of my memories stay with me? 
It feels like I'm forgetting something important. Miss Edna! Ah! Don't shout so close to me! We're surrounded by enemies! Be careful! Please don't be any gimmicks. Please don't be any gimmicks. Please. Oh, no gimmicks? Wait, hold on. Is this the mercy? Oh. Wow, their stats are insane. They have as much health as the flan does. Holy. Um, how am I gonna survive this? I don't have anywhere to move. Huh. Like, Kirk shouldn't die instantly, but... How do I make it so that I also don't just get destroyed instantly? Alright, let's, let's experiment. I don't want to spend too long of a turn here, because I don't think I could ever one-shot these at these points. Even if I hit their resistance, doing 7,000 is kind of insane. Most I could do is something like move Rogue 9 over here, lift row, so they're at least lined up better. Then I can try to block them with the perks character. Kind of works. Alright, we need Imperimeter basically at full stats right now. I'm trying to leave as many against the wall as I can. I got punished really hard for not prepping another mage. I'm not gonna lie. This is like the third time I was like, man, if we had one more buff would have been set. Um, so I guess I could body block with Frost. Let's start with this first. So we can willingly walk him over to stop the enemies from targeting. I think that makes the most sense. So now I think we formed a wall of safety. I still have two spare characters. I can do whatever I need to with. But I think the play is to just magic boost our brains out here. Parameter with a whopping 5k. Just do some basic damage to them. Which again, the damage isn't terrible. But, like, Kirk's damage definitely is strong. If we could get another sword, we'll probably Braveheart a little more. They're weak to different things here, so I think we just Omega Star. This is so risky. Because if they hit Chris, it's not over, but it's... Not good, either. I'm gonna hope they can't do any weird shenanigans. Oh, no, 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 they have the Twister attack. No, I remember. That was BS. One thing I wish I could see is, like... The Twister, I think, does a piercing attack. I think it went through three targets. If I remember correctly. I complained about that last time. I think this is out of range. So no matter what, he shouldn't be able to twist her, because he has to end his spot in a way that can hit me. Which I don't think he could do from here. I think this is actually fine. So, like, he could twist her through these, I think. He should not be able to... He should be able to at most move here, but he should not be able to twist her and also hit another character, from what I remember at the attack. Now we're testing my monster knowledge, which kind of sucks, because it's been a while since, uh has been relevant. Okay, let's see the damage being dealt. Ooh, their damage is really good. Ooh, a parameter hitting for literally his int in damage. Uh, we'll reset if he dies, because if a parameter dies, I think it's over. 
I could survive with like one less mage. That's fine. You know what? That's pretty much as good as it could have been. These are both weak to this. So let's go ahead and pump our stats a little bit. We're going to body block. We don't even need them to do damage. We just legitimately need to stall. And I think this is good enough. We're definitely going to magic boost. We know we can magic boost again. You could use Imperimeter's stat line as the... Oh my god, 5,500. Holy. Braveheart these characters if I want to. At least we can make them do some damage this turn. So let's hit them with... This one's closer. Maybe use Ice. Megastar. Wow, that killed that one in the background instantly. So what we're going to do, it's Operation Protect Our Mage. Uh, Calvisham, I need you to uh, give a good little... Good, 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 good little chuck... Little Chuck over here. <laughs> Just tell him, to, tell him to get away from me. I don't want to deal with him. Listen. Target height problem. Ooh, I can hit both of them with this. Okay. I didn't hit both as I was hoping, but we'll take that. You know what? This is good. <laughs> this, this is kind of working. On, live Rogue Nine. Oh, Kelvisham live! Wow! I cannot believe we did not have a character death just then. Holy. Now we just need one set of mages keeping them topped, right? Wait, does magic boost wear off faster? Maybe it doesn't. Get double brave heart here. I think it actually matters. We can start having Kirk do some damage. get a kill. I think I'm gonna have him heal. Heal with a little bit of defense I think makes sense. Presumably he just went up 13 when I consumed it. Now we just kill you with ice. We're gonna weaken with Chris. We have other characters to feed these characters SP. Not super worried. Okay. Parameter kind of kind of holding down the fort, as it were. Oh, man. Okay, so what are we looking at? Almost rank 10 staff. That's huge. That's another 5% boost in stats. Uh, Calvisham's probably just ultra dead. I could try to save him, technically. I guess it wouldn't hurt to save Calvisham. As long as we're effectively doing the same thing. Okay, so we could give this kill to anybody. Maybe I just give it to Chris. So he catches up in levels a little. Do that. Or I could give it to... Oh, Rogue Nine can't move. Alright. So Chris keeping up in stats kind of matters. We have a whole wall of horribleness over there. Let's make sure we keep Bravehearting. Because we almost have Kirk at full power. And we can do magic buff here. So maybe this enemy doesn't move at all? Because I haven't seen these guys move yet. So I could try to risk this? Because I just move out of the way, right? I just come over here. And then if I'm not sure, I just come here. Maybe? Like, I mean, the same thing has to happen, so this should be fine. Now I could do something like this. Okay. I mean, Kirk's doing some sizable damage, despite getting kind of late to the buff game. We need... So this will stall them, because they can't go around him as easily. So what we need is another thrower, and we do have one. Perfect. So we can have... Oh, I can't use Galvisham, because he's stunned. Um... Let's get closer, and then we're gonna throw... 
in such a manner that we're going to save in Parameter. So we're going to choose to kill somebody here, with the intent being that I will probably get a kill here. Nice. Worth. And I just do something like this. I think that was absolutely worth it. <laughs> oh, now they're starting to move. Which is fine if they do. If they kill a parameter here, it's not the end of the world. Since we've now wounded them enough, I'm not worried. Okay, good counterattack. Let's go ahead and just Winged Slayer this group, I think. I could combine them if I want to. Combining them is a little greedy here. Let's not, let's not be greedy. Let's just send them. If I can. Oh, the enemy's in the way. Seriously? Give me a Rogue Nine. Do your duty. <laughs> Lift him up briefly. Got an achievement just now. Oh, because Kirk hit level 100. Good job, Kirk. You can technically upgrade your class again if you need to. Parameter actually survived a direct hit from the enemy, which is interesting. Right, so I can move now if I want to. So I can throw one of them together. Do I want to? Probably not. Chris can assist. Chris can also get the kill there. I can throw the zombies together if I need to. Get a kill here. This will increase our money total significantly. Let's make sure that these two get a magic buff. I, th I think it'll be important our sides are actually good. Let's move Chris over here. If he gets targeted, he gets targeted. things, of course. Ooh. I think that's uh, set up for a nice Imperimeter kill here. We're gonna move out of the way. Just enough SP. Nice kill. And we know Imperimeter gets more money out of it, too. We killed with somebody with Broker and XP up. So I think we're good. I mean, they're probably gonna go after her. Is that the only enemy? There's two left. Oh, wait. Wait, why are there so many enemies left? Wait, what? Oh. Well, I mean, we're not dead dead, so this is fine. Didn't die. That's all that matters. We didn't die. That's all that matters. Moving in parameter way out of there. So we're going to focus on, I think, buffing... Kirk once we damage this guy down a bit more. Rogue Nine should be able to heal one of them. I probably want to heal in Parameter first. Give him a little more SP in case he doesn't have enough. Then just double Fire Blast. So now we have a healer. Ooh, he hit one of our mages. That really sucks. Kind of hoping that would not reach. Not much I could do about that. Well, it's not over, but it's very awkward. So now I can't get my damage higher than it should be. I need it to be. We're going to have Imperameter a 23 HP heal, and hopefully that means he can survive anything that hits him. Um, we are going to need to stall big time here. Hopefully this kills. Man, oh man. If we had one more mage. One more mage chat would have been fine. Damn. Now I have to choose. I'm assuming... 
I think their attack is very high right now. Need to be able to tank some hits. So I think what we could do is... Just repeatedly Braveheart and raise our proficiencies. Oh, he hit staff level 11. Or 10, I mean. That's actually huge. So he just got another 5% stat increase. So we now he's at 3,500 normally, which is pretty insane. Uh, We will probably just eat a healing item on the way over here. So we're at 40-13 attack. Okay, that didn't actually raise our stats. That's what I was kind of curious about. I saw stat ups on the items. I was like, does that actually impact? I know SP will. But we're just going to keep doing this. Let's see, what did it say our stat range was? So we have plus three range. So finally, Imperameter got the bonus range on everything, which is really big. I mean, look how far away I can Braveheart now. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're doing whatever we can here. The Imperameter should be able to assist from a big distance. Rogue 9... I can use for healing if I need to. I pulled both, which is a bit unfortunate there. Plus side, at least our damage is good. I think with this, I'm actually going to come over here and hit them with a good old fireball. The parameter should survive a hit. I think it's more important that I just kill one of them outright, or I could just Wicked Slayer them. Oh, don't do that. Good call, good call. Even if, and then I can potentially protect a parameter here. Do that, actually. Rogue 9 assisting, get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's still hit from there? You know what, that's fine. I'm gonna do an Omega Wind... into... I mean, I should just get the kill here no matter what. I don't think it matters. Into Hurricane Slash. And if this somehow doesn't kill, I will go ahead and slap him silly with Tiger Charge. Yeah! Good job, Rogue Nine. <laughs> right, chat? Teamwork. Look at that money. Oh, okay. So we can afford one more super weapon. Perk is at a hilarious 101. Look at it, that's 3k base stats. Parameter, almost 3k int. So between the two of them, they're pretty god stats. Chris isn't bad, but unfortunately, he doesn't have the super staff. If he had the super staff, that would make a big difference. But in Parameter, uh, jumped around more. So even though they're very similar in level, in Parameter, I think just gets four more int per level. So he'll always be much higher than other characters due to how we set him up. Okay, let's see. Anything else we need to do? Rogue Nine snuck in a little bit. Honestly, 1600 attack is also not terrible. We've seen it before. He's lived with 100 HP. <laughs> if, if all he could do is live by 100 HP and it just wastes the enemy's turn, I will gladly take it. I wonder if we're actually going to rank up for me buying enough candy. We're at the point where it might realistically happen. Uh, we need some better items from the store, please. I said better. Why are you giving me these? What am I going to do with the 50 heal at this point in the game? Cut me a break. Right, chat? Like, come on. Where's the uh, 4k heals? Hello? There's an eclair. Oh, and it has SP. That's huge. Um, Probably want one SP recovery. Ideally with health up, but I'll take whatever at this point. Yeah, if there's like a 2300 heal that also heals SP, I will take that. Because SP does seem to matter from these things. Three SP heals. One gets small amounts of health still. We have one SP teriyaki, which might matter for Kirk because his Hurricane Slash does not cost that much. Foresight only having level one ones is so terrible. Oh, come on, we can do better. Ooh, 2300 but 16 SP. Uh, that's kind of what I want. 
I'm actually gonna get rid of one fairy dust, because it hasn't really come up at all. And get one more healing item. Preferably with mixed stats. That way I can full heal and just very slightly cap out. Try one more time. Come on, game. There we go. So again, if we need to potentially heal up the mages, they might get a small amount of SP in the process. We still have one super item we could use for healing if we need to, but it's kind of a waste. Some of these items are just actual trash. We get rid of the actual trash that's in our inventory. Like, garbage, garbage, garbage. I'll leave the belt for later, because I need it for other characters post-game. Um... Technically this is fine. So we could afford a super weapon, but do we need a super weapon? Let's check. Is there a god upgrade for Kirk? It needs to roll, like, the most amazing stats you've ever seen in order for me to take this upgrade. Or we need to have, like, another 900. <laughs> Let's say something, some BS staff that's at, like, 900. I mean, even the 676 is weaker than what we gave, um, Parameter. Yeah, like, see the 620 attack? This is just not good enough. It, it just, it really isn't. It's actually just barely better than what we're using currently. So it needs to roll basically double or triple gladiator, or there's no point to buying it. Which is kind of brutal. Because we just rolled so well. We got like a 70 on it. Oof. Painful. So I'm really happy we re-rolled re the weapon in the main story, because I could not imagine the struggle of being like 400 attack lower in this mode. I can't even imagine how impossible that would be. I could technically buy a fist item if I really don't know what to purchase. So if I really want Rogue 9 to try to do some damage, it could happen in theory. No, see, this is just not good enough. We'll try a couple more times, otherwise I'm going to move on. We'll only come back to this if I... Oh. What does Amnesiac do? Let's learn in real time, chat. What does Amnesiac do? It seals special skills. Oh. Yeah, I think I want that. <laughs> <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we lose a bit of defense? I hope I did not just make a save just then. I'm gonna make one extra save. So now we have to win with whatever we have. I'm assuming this should be good enough. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's a big damage increase for Kirk. Fools! Did you really think I would fight fair and square? All I have to do is find that fire sky and steal the demon tome! After I become overlord, I will destroy Etna! <laughs> Sorry, but that's not gonna happen. That voice! I finally found you! What? The duel is not until tomorrow. Did you really think I'd wait that long? Ah, you dirty little demon. Oh, I love it when you call me that. It really is the greatest compliment. Miss Edna, are you sure you want to anger him that much? He has your memories, you know. It's too late. Edna, you will regret this. Da, da, da. Miss Edna, he's going to destroy your memory? Go ahead. Why don't you do it already? What? <laughs> you won't be so cocky after this. Your memory. Uh, it, it's gone. What happened? I thought you were going to make me regret something. 
No! Where did it go? Master Aetna, we got your memory back like you told us to, dude! Good work, Dark Durians! You! You betrayed me! Hey! We're demons, dude! Would you expect any less? Looks like the tide has turned. Uh, damn it! So, would you like your death sunny side up or will it be scrambled? You won't make it out of here alive! Witness my power! Okay. Is this the final fight? Yes, no. It looks like it is. Okay, chat. He's he only has forty two thousand health. Only. Now we have Kirk at a really high amount of damage. So we see Kirk's super sword at this point. Oh, I don't know why that's broken. I feel like it hasn't been working for like two weeks now. It's so sad. I'll check to see if there's something I have to do on the forums. I might have to just like log out and log back in. Hmm. Uh... Is there a way I can cut them off a little better? So we just need the protagonist to live. We need to run as far as we can. To try to survive some of this nonsense. On the plus side, Imperameter has enhanced movement, so he should be out of range of everything while still having ridiculous brave heart range because of how we've been leveling him. So Chris is at 9, Imperameter's at solid 10. I guess I might as well stack them like this to make it a bit harder for them to get through. I'm probably going to need Calvisium to body block something. But once we're done with that, we're going to move over, I think. I need one more strength up, I think. To try in there. Probably not gonna buff the ninja due to the ninja bug. Oh, I think he got buffed a little bit at least. And now we can force Kirk to block one of the spaces, which is big. Now we just need to clog the path. So now they can't reach us at all, which is huge. And a triple strike. Do whatever damage we can. We don't need to have another mage. We have one backup mage with Frost. Could summon another decoy character. Don't know if it's worth it. Like we're so it just depends on how many people move here. Oh, that's not too bad. Rogue Nine's probably dead, but there's not much I can do about that. managed to do some serious damage. Kirk should be able to heal himself. So Kirk isn't dying instantly to them, which is a huge benefit. Now we just need one more mage. Yeah, Rogue Nine. We tried. I mean, he leveled. He might have been able to survive. One. Two. Three. Four magic boosts. I know, Kirk has to survive somehow. I can Winged Slayer, probably a nice group here. That's about as much as Kirk can do at the moment. We can use Calvisham to heal him a little bit. So we just need to snipe these guys a little bit. I could definitely pick these guys off. I don't think there's a question there. Parameter getting last minute level ups. 
Chris should be able to do something here. A little risky. I guess the question is, how long do his spells reach? Not very far. Just need to heal Kr one time. I think what I gotta do is body block like this. That way they can't get by as easily. I think we have to use on on her. Let's use regular eclair actually. Skirk actually is a lot of help now. Um, and then with Chris, might be able to move him like this, so they can't hit him. I think so. Did he level up Omega Star enough to do it? He didn't. Um. So close. I guess I use Wind here. Hell yeah. Nice double kill for Chris. That's actually huge. We're doing okay. We're getting through. We have most of our buffs. Calvisham is super dead. Rip Calvisham. But they also don't seem to be, like, assaulting us either, and we have one spare character. So we could probably lift the boss if we need to, once or twice. So at this point now, we just need to do some big damage. We're both put to fire. That is really unfortunate for them. <laughs> right, Chad? That, that is most unfortunate for them. Make sure I don't mismenu anything here. Whopping 5700, that's pretty huge. Go ahead and Braveheart Earth at least once. That's are looking pretty good. You're gonna have her. Probably Winged Slayer again from here. And then just follow with Chris. Remember, we have, I think, two items to recover our SP, or three items to recover our SP. And we should be able to get through this. At least the initial enemies. I don't know about the top floor. We'll see. They're not moving, and we'll we'll take that as a small mercy. Now die. Okay, and Parameter getting a much, much, much appreciated level up. Um, Let's go ahead and restore the SP on Chris. We only used 900 total. Uh, I could have waited a little. Uh, I am actually going to hold my turn and see if anybody comes towards me. They did not. Listen, chat. If <laughs> if I have to go here and poke, I will do it. Listen. Like, see where he is? I don't care. Move, like, one tile closer. Because he should not be able to reach me with anything. Yeah, there's no way. Unless I line up with the staircase... There's no way he could do anything to me. Let's go ahead and reset Etna. We don't need her. Move our other mages further away. Magic boost these two. Braveheart, you. You know what? Let's use Braveheart again as well. Just in case I'm not at max, and I think I am. Right, chat? There's no reason to not at least do it. Oh, yeah. See, we weren't in that. Good. So we're chipping away. There's a lot of healers here, which is going to be really annoying, by the way. So I probably want Medeiros to come towards me. But we are very gradually weakening them, at least. The front row done. Okay. So at this point, they're just dead, so I'm just going to use Chris to use Omega Fire. And have Imperameter use Omega Fire. I didn't even need to, apparently. Unfortunately, that did consume his turn. But listen, chat, we're just going to take it just real slow. I'm, I am in no rush. 
resources are on my side, surprisingly. Be careful not to burn all of their SP, so Gansel's gonna burn out. I'm gonna have Gansel just not do anything then. I let me not even use it then. I'm coming a little more. I mean, this is just building Kurt's proficiency. How Kurt? How, Kurt's already at 12? Wow, that uh, Winged Slayer was uh, put in the work for giving Kirk some proficiency there. I think we just slowly walk forward and dominate. Let's go ahead and use Magic Boost here. Oh, I actually survived that. Seriously. Bonk. Hey right, chat, we'll get there eventually. Alright, so let's walk you forward. Braveheart for sure first. Braveheart again. Perks is a little behind. Magic-wise, we could use a double pump here. Should be good. But between these three characters, they do enough damage to do what we need them to do. So I'm glad that we're using a mix of spellcasters at melee, and it's not just oops all spellcasters. Let's do Hurricane Slash into Mega Fire into Omega Fire. Oh, actually, that killed again. Important parameter. Now we just have five enemies left. This looks doable, Chad. I think we are going to win. As long as Madaris doesn't suddenly do like 24,000 damage and kill me instantly, we'll be fine. We'll do Wind Cutter. I'll go ahead and. I guess buff. doing anything with these characters. They should magic buff themselves. That would make the most sense. That way it can negate the penalty we have. Nice, nice. Do another wing of cutter. So we still have one character we can use to lift. Otherwise we can maintain our super buffs the whole time. None of these guys are poisoning me, so this is really good. A week to win. As we like to say, that's unfortunate for them. Guess what spell we've been spamming this entire game? It's Omega Wind yet again, chat. Who would have thought? Wow, Chris keeps sneaking- he keeps sneaking in those kills. That hand-me-down weapon is good enough. Alright, so we know they could just self buff. I'm not really gonna worry about this too much. I will use the Braveheart here. Keep Kirk back at max. And what I'll actually end up doing is I'm actually gonna do a little heal here. Give him just like a tiny bit of SP back. The other characters are only injured, quote unquote, from leveling. Now we just need to hopefully summon them here. Nice. Got a little greedy with position, but that's fine. Didn't lose an important character. We still have three mages. That means I could do stuff like this. Unfortunately, we did lose the one with the most MP, but whatever. We're going to do this to save MP costs. After that, they could just lift somebody up and it doesn't matter. He's going to be really tanky, I have a feeling. We're just going to play it super safe. We have one person to pick up Madaris. We might be able to sneak him away from the clerics? 
If we can remove him from being healed, I think we'll be fine. We're gonna go ahead and use Hurricanes. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and back up and do. Doesn't matter. Or actually, do Hurricane Slash here. Chris will be able to hit with Omega Fire. And because we've been casting for so long, this should still be able to reach. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Parameter getting the much wanted level up. The coveted level up, as it were. I will definitely take this opportunity to heal. Give Chris a little bit of SP back. Parameter's still looking pretty good. At this point, we just need to draw them out, so we'll do something like this. Actually, before I do that. And Parameter... Go ahead and magic buff both of them. Magic buff again. And actually have... Etna. Give a little bit of healing to Parameter. It might matter. <laughs> right, chat? 18 more health, max SP. So their stats are looking absolutely phenomenal. I only want to use Gansel when I really have to. I can, I can also put a Braveheart on Kirk here. I just don't want to be too greedy, right, chat? I just really don't want to be greedy. Look at this Lorzum. Nice. Perfect. Saves me a little bit of time. We're weak to ice. Okay. What I'll do is... Prize SP is just good enough, I think, to Braveheart one single target over and over. Gansel can also do that as a backup. I'm gonna do a magic buff here. Just maximizing our damage here. 5400 is so good. We're gonna go ahead and Hurricane Slash. <laughs> Rank 8, we've used it that many times, holy. Anyway, let's move forward a little bit more. Let's go ahead and ice him. I always want to start with Chris because he does the least damage. I'd rather the combo extend the damage here. I thought Chris might not kill. I mean, he may kill. I guess we'll see. Close. Yeah, parameter squeeze again just a little more in terms of level ups. Holy. All this chat for 500 XP. Totally worth it. All right. Nice. Right, so let's let's creep forward a little bit. How many healing items do I have? A lot. Okay. Let's heal Kirk preemptively. I don't. I should not need to tank like seven hits to be fine here. I think we're basically in the home stretch. But we'll keep him at full just in case. So hopefully this will pull Madeiras. It did not. Right, as I said before, we're gonna, we take little we we'll take little baby steps towards him. Use Gansel to Braveheart while we can. Because I might replace him with another character that can actually do stuff. Having Parameter kinda over here. Chris temporarily, I guess. Have them both magic buff each other. They got SP. See now now we're being as efficient as possible. There we go. I need one more buff up. I think I could do this. Yeah, there we go. And then what I can do is I can hit Madaris early. I can hide Edna. I don't think he can reach me from there. I mean, presumably he has a lot of range, so I have to be a little more wary with him, I guess. It seems like I'm kind of far back currently. Ashamar. Move that now a little closer, I guess. Alright, we're chipping him out. <laughs> First 3,000 done, chat. 
You know what? That's best case scenario. Ooh, that's scary. We got skill locked. So we can we can hold him up for a little bit here. I think at this point Gansel can go away. We're gonna need another super mover. So what I think I'm gonna do is clear for sure. Now we need these characters to really step it up. Alright, hopefully this magic boost will get us through it, and I pulled him out of range of the healers. I'm just making sure I did not Braveheart. I'm, just, I'm being very paranoid. Here we go. So we have two turns to stall him, so what I could do is... Ugh. We had Rogue 9, that damage actually would have mattered. Um... What's his resistance like? Not as insane as I was thinking it would be. Chad, is anybody surprised it's Omega Wind again? Like, honestly, this is so unfair how often this has been used. Holy. Look at it, it's rank 3. It's literally our highest one. It's the one I've had the least time with. Ooh, 10,000 is huge. Um, do I even dare try to counterattack him? I don't think I do. Honestly, at this point, I'm willing for Kirk to pick it up. Because I think we could kill those clerics with just our current party. I feel like they're gonna see me. I might as well just attack them. Right, chat? Like, it, I might as well as at this point. I will need another noble sacrifice after this. Oh, they didn't even move forward or do anything? Oh. Right, chat? I mean, that makes a difference, I guess. Is that really the max? No, it's not. Okay. Good thing I did that again. I was like, that felt kind of low. We're gonna make a wind again. We're gonna make a wind again. So the clerics don't even attack? Is that a bug? Like, they just don't even do anything? At this point, I might as well just attack with Kirk then, at that point. I shouldn't be able to die from counterattack. So we'll start with his combo to boost Chris's damage. Okay, so I'm really glad we got two stabs, I'm not gonna lie. The sword is still useful. I could probably just use that to just absolutely hose those clerics in a moment. But uh, we'll take what we can get here. Good damage. That's fine. So I think he's dead next turn. So we might have Frost go in and do whatever he needs. Man, am I really just never getting my skills back? This sucks. Magic boost wears off two at a time? Why is that? Huh. I didn't really think about that before until just now. Do I not have another character to pick that up? I think Kirk needs to die for the cause. I'm sorry, Kirk. I don't think these clerics are going to do anything to the other party. They have literally no attack spells. I think it'll be fine. We'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm going to hope I don't need to do this, but we'll see. Do... do this. Just barely didn't kill. Sorry, Kirk. We have enough mages to finish this run. That's all that matters. 
Holy, I barely got through this. We are absolutely in parameter dunk on this boss. Get out of here. I don't mega starred. There we go. <laughs> Two enemies left. Come on, let's do it. Holy, get me out of here. My SP is terrible right now. Give it to Chris. We're going in. We have two people constantly magic buffing. We should be able to win this. Holy. Move him a little like this. Don't have enough to magic buff. That is so sad. A buff parameter. This will still get something, which is better than nothing. Weakness is fire. Oh, I got bad news for them. <laughs> right, Chad? Actually, you know what? If I'm gonna hit both of them. Oh, out of range. Something like this. She's 145. I swear, if she somehow has some, like, nonsense skill... Yeah, get out of here. I think the run is over, Chad. We did it. I'm gonna kill with Chris. Because he would appreciate that. It's over. Perish. Well, if we need to make any emergency purchases, I could get exactly one. Oh, hey, a gun for Calvisham. It finally happened. <laughs> Please, forgive me. What should I do to you first? Please, spare my life, please! <gasps> Pathetic! I should never have relied on a demon to do an archangel's work! What? Who are you? <gasps> oh, that's true. We might have to fight Volcanus. Oh man. So close to the end. Of hearing my name. This might be borderline impossible. We'll see. Master Volcanus, why are you here? Who's this loser? He's the Archangel Volcanus. He's the supreme commander of the celestial host. But why are you doing this? An angel? He looks like a bad guy to me. Ha, what are you talking about? You demons are the source of all evil. I am punishing you demons for the sake of world peace. If only that old man would listen to me. That is why I must become the Seraph and destroy all demons. How can you say all demons are evil? If our Lord heard that, he would be deeply saddened. Flan, how dare you talk back to me like that? It's all your fault. If only you had been eliminated, everything would have gone according to plan. Oh no, Chad, it didn't go according to Keikaku. I even disguised myself as God to deceive you, but you still survived. You were God? You tricked me! You lied to me more than any demon I've met! <laughs> If I defeat you and Edna, and then take the Overlord's corpse back with me to Celestia, I am sure to become the Seraph. Flan, for the peace of the world, you must die here. What a dork. Don't compare me to demons. <laughs> I don't care if you are an Archangel. I've had enough of your mouth. You're no different than Medeiros, tricking impressionable girls just to gain a title. Oh, shut up, you demon! I don't care what you are. I just wanted Medeiros to suffer utter misery for dragging me into this mess. But you killed him. So now what am I supposed to do for fun? Wait, he killed him? I feel like I feel like it was in Parameter and Chris that killed him. Excuse me. You're gonna pay big time for that, chump! You're blaming me for this? Yep. How about 
about you kneel down and beg me for your life? Oh, and apologize to Flan, too. Misatna. <laughs> Don't be silly. Do you, an ordinary demon girl, truly believe you can defeat me? Challenge me if you wish to die. I will show you the power of the next Seraph. Okay. Maybe that is the final fight, because Volcanus is pretty up there. We sadly did not get enough to get another testament. We had 313 deaths. We needed 50,000 SPUs, which to be fair, that's actually pretty close. The downside, we need 200,000 health. So I will spare a chat <laughs> me resetting this. I will only do that if I honestly do not think I can win with what we have. I will I will not try to do that. We managed to get almost every other condition though, which is kind of funny. Um they're not worth it. Game, you gotta get come on. <laughs> right, chat? You gotta restock my healing a little bit here. Like it doesn't have to be like the best items ever, but a little, a little better than that. I'm looking for just minor SP gain, because I think it did actually matter on our other characters. Of these. How many healing items do we need to replace? So we got the very terrible gun, but it is Calvisham's gun, and nothing will take it away from Calvisham. Good job, Calvisham. You finally earned a gun. I'm just hoping for just a, like one of them. As I said before, giving like just enough for at least a spell would be useful. I can afford two more SP ups, which we've seen were useful. I will go purchase them again. Come on, game. Be kind. Spare us resets. I would appreciate if you did not make me reset this for all eternity. Put one of these away. I should might as well put the eclair back. Now I now I need two SP ups, because I want one for Imperimeter, one for Chris, and one for emergencies. In case Kirk somehow runs out spamming Winged Slayer or something weird. One. Come on. One more. One more. You can do a game. Oh yeah, you did a game. Congratulations. I'll buy another Eclair just for later. We have one status cure, three SP restores. We have a couple of things that do give some SP. I can kind of feed it to whoever. Ooh, Kirk managed to hit 101, so his stats are whatever we're going to try to beat the game with. We have Parameter with a whopping 3,000, and honestly... If he could somehow hit 11 rank 1, they would be amazing. But it's okay if he doesn't. The other thing that I was noticing is we were running out of SP really quickly on these other characters. Is there nothing else we could do for SP? Or they all use on other characters? Yeah, she had a lot of SP. He does not have a lot of SP. Oh, because we put Muscle Victory on him. You know what? I'm actually going to take that off of him. I don't think this ever mattered. It did early, but, like, I don't think it does now. I guess I'll get them more health? I don't really see a downside to this. Chaos wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, as I said before, we got kind of we got kind of cheated on the mission rank. That also kind of threw me off because I was like, oh, maybe if it continues from where it was before, you know, even if the stage gets harder, we'll get like you know 5k XP ups. But like, no, I was in this mode. Ansel needed some SP. Is there anything he could equip for SP? Because that was actually relevant that he was running out. I 
could make him wear cactus armor. You know what? Prophet's robe? Actually kind of what I'm looking for. I'll take it. That's like three more buffs. It's funny we could get defense and int on an item, I suppose. We have basically not looked at armor at all this entire playthrough, which to me is hilarious. That was the first armor we purchased, so maybe the second or third total I bother to equip. It's not that defense is bad. I think it's more of a stigma from, like, in later Disgaea games. Defense is really terrible. In this game, it's not bad. Like, see this? I can actually get a, uh, like, decently statted int up. I guess it's not the worst thing ever if I wanted to just wear this. Fortunately, I think for... Oh, I could get rid of Feather Token if I wanted to. Maybe? Losing 90 SP actually kind of matters. You can see these are massive jumps for them. Hmm. It's in theory I could give her the Reaper's Cloak. I don't know if it matters then. If, if a Parameter and Chris can't benefit from it, I don't know if it matters. Like, I could give her the Feather Cloak, but as this before, 90 SP is kind of important. He's not high enough stats, I think, for that to matter. Is there any other character that was struggling with SP? Frost was fine. Just Gansel, I think. But I could just do this for Gansel. Sure. At this point, I only care about SP on these other characters. I'm just looking real quick. We got anything of interest? Technically, an improvement for Frost. Why not? You know what? Why not? Just give it to them. Who cares? So, yeah, we still have some money in case I need to buy some other accessories, but. Wish me luck, chat. We're gonna try to beat, presumably, the final map of the game. Why the bonus rank is so terrible, I have no idea. Oh, we just go straight into it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. What are those stats? Holy, 131,000? Oh no. Ooh. Oh, so the intent is to lure him over to a blue square and then I could potentially get attack 50%. That might actually matter for making Kirk survive. All right, so, so we have to make Kirk get to the end. That's what I'm learning from this. Can I just afford for Kirk to tank a hit here, is the question, without doing anything too crazy. Can I afford to waste healing? I don't think I can. Alright, what's their in at? Or resist, I mean. 1400 is kind of high. They do have ice, so I can't let them do anything. I don't know if these characters are going to move. Like, it's possible these two will move, and these two won't. Because they're standing on, like, very specific squares. I don't know if Volcanus will move. I kind of hope he doesn't. Okay. Well, we're gonna go for it, I guess. We're gonna make sure we stand diagonal, since we saw before, running out of SP was an actual real concern. I'm gonna use Gansel last. 
could avoid it. She could buff from, like, a world away if I need her to. Be one mage shy again. That's so sad. Yeah, see, if I had made them... So... The only other thing I would have changed is instead of making uh, the mages under Laharl, I could have made the mages under Kirk and he could have been able to Braveheart himself, which would have been kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, they are weak to different things, which is kind of annoying. The one with more resistance is this one, I think. I could hit him with both stars, I guess, if I want to. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough. So close. I could probably hit them with the fist fighter. I really need to. I'd really prefer not to though. Hopefully this kills. Gosh, come on. Are we missing by like a hundred damage? Oh my gosh, how are we gonna do that much damage? Rogue Nine can do a little bit. Thank you, Rogue Nine. Your level up may or may ma may or may not matter. Um Could you imagine if that would actually kill? I used up all my mages, so I can't hit it with, like, wind just to finish. How oh, irritating. The best I could do. Try to save the team. Die. 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 Oh, we gotta reset. Wow, th that hit from so far. Okay, we gotta reset. Holy. Okay, so the the boss doesn't move. We have a chance. We have to survive the die, die, die though. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Um. Can I do this in the reverse order? Will Kirk be able to one shot these? doing something like this. Of course the attack zone is obstructed. Why wouldn't it be obstructed? Can I really not hit them with Winged Slayer? That is so annoying. I only hit one of them as is. Unless I group them, which I could do. Okay, so let me think about it a different way. So if I throw these two together, right, I sh should be able to deal with them if Rick's character is able to one-shot them with Winged Slayer. How would we do that? We would need to have the attack up. We would have Calvisham throw one of them here, which is a little risky because if they stand on it, I die. So I need to move those later. And the other one that would help is attack plus one. So that would make sure that we kill this. So this alone is almost strong enough to one shot. But combined with the double ups, we should be good. So if I keep all of our mages as far away as possible, is it possible for them to survive one turn? Because then I have another turn. Just dedicated to buffing up. Cancel dying here doesn't matter. He's at least SP. I guess I could try to level Rogue 9 as an alternate. It is risky because I don't know how far these enemies hit. They seem to have fire spells, so they might be able to hit me with range. Although they are using bow, so maybe they don't have extended range. Yeah, so maybe they can only literally target what I can see here. 
So Edna's probably super dead. Not much you can do about that. Uh, let's try our best here. And this is where the accuracy of our mages matters, because I have to get through Rogue Nine's evasion, which is very annoying. Thanks, Ninja Bug. Just a reminder that that's a thing for no reason, that they just chose not to remove for some reason. Okay, we need one more mage. Okay, this should be big damage. What? Why didn't the attacks double? Why Why was it that sometimes attack plus one doubled skills and sometimes doesn't? Is there a reason that happens, or is that a bug? Because this is now twice we've seen spells cast multiple times, but this didn't for some reason. That also messes me up very significantly. Um... I mean, I think it's not quite GG. No, it is GG. It's so annoying. Why doesn't that work that way? It should be dead. Yeah, I think they're just about to murder all the mages. There's not much I can do about this. Unless they target Edna. Die. 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 No. <laughs> now unwinnable. Man, that's just... Why can they hit so far, right, chat? Holy. So, attack plus one didn't do what I wanted it to do, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's just, there's not much I could do. I could try to just survive, which feels kind of terrible. I could just do something like attack plus one, Attack 50% and then just not use my mages for a turn just to see what happens. Die. 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 This is kind of, oh, I was gonna say this is fine up until the confuse. Um Honestly, still kind of doable. Should I have thrown the defense up is the question. As long as Kirk does- or yeah, as long as Kirk doesn't die here, this might be doable. Because once we kill them, we just need four- we need two mages, Kristen and Parameter. Two mages for damage, and the rest will stall the boss. Can Kirk live a turn here? Question. Pray. Pray. Oh! Die. Chat, you are all witnesses. Die. Does Braveheart stack, but normal attacks don't? Is that how that works? How irritating. I know. See, like, th this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I don't think this exists in, like, the later Disgaea's. Like, there's a little bit of jank, but, like, why our attack doesn't double, but theirs does, if it's a buff, it's like, kind of whack. I'm not gonna lie, chat. This is stuff, like, I don't normally have to care about, but I have to care about now. So now, the question is... If I come over here... And I throw an attack up on one of these. Let's say... Oh, I can't go there then. Can I just kill them with stacking normal hits? Like, we, we need to learn how this works. I've not needed to care about this, because it just doesn't matter. Let's throw a Rogue Nine here. A question. If I do this, Am I going to get five Omega Star or four Omega Stars? Because if I do, that solves our problem of not killing fast enough. The problem is it puts our mages at risk unless I move them off, which I can do. I just need to know. 
I want to have you as far as possible. Actually, speaking of which, what I should do to save their SP, because it might matter. Go ahead, magic boost. I could s just kill one of my mages by putting them on here. Thinking about if that's worth it. I don't think it's worth it yet. I next turn it might be. Yeah, I want her as far away as possible from the other enemies. You know what I mean, chat? Like, I'm hoping this doesn't hit if I kill both. I want them as far to one side as possible so it's easier to protect it. The moment of truth. If I stand here, Parameter can take one hit. I don't know if Chris can take a hit. Chris dying would suck, but I can still try to win regardless. Alright, does this double up? I just need to know. Will this double up? Yes, no. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad and I need to rethink things. It does. Kill them. I should not have used Rogue Nine there. I would have been able to get a double hit here. Um, is there anybody else with any attack power? I don't think so. That was a small mistake on my part. Lost me. I guess the question is, who do I care if they die or not? I'm willing to sacrifice Etna. Make sure that they die next turn. With Kirk's character, I should be able to poke them and slow them down. Maybe if I do this, they'll at least be able to do some damage here. Die. Die. Why is there Giga Ice the Die. whole screen? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't realize that that was the one that was killing us. It's level 15? What? What am I supposed? What am I supposed to do about that? Wait. Okay. Well, we're we're in a conundrum because I I need to buff, but I can't buff. Hmm. Yeah, this is just kind of BS, honestly. They could kill me from literally full screen. I can't multi-attack them with anything interesting. It could sacrifice a person to try to get more stats. I guess there's no reason to improving our number of attacks because it just gets used against me. So I guess what I'll end up doing is just trying to chip them out a little. Die. 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 Wow, they killed Kirk? Why are they why are you 260? No wonder why I'm dying. What the hell is this, chat? Wait a minute. Hold on. Why is this such a big difficulty jump compared to the other one? Did I get stat RNG'd or some nonsense? Alright. What do I even do about this? I might be stuck with the challenge. I'm not sure if I can progress. Honestly, like, this is just insane. I don't have anything that would prevent me from getting one shot. Other than maybe playing literally max distance? Pray. That's fine. Die. Die. Like, wow. <laughs> right, Chad? Just wow. 3,000 resist? <laughs> what? I can't kill that. That... What? <laughs> I can't... I can't kill this. I mean, like, maybe through some miracle, I can do some hit and runs, but I got confused just now. Oh boy, where do I even go with this? Um,
I mean, the fact that they can even confuse... The fact that they even cause the status ailments too. This is just horrible. I don't know what to do. I think I'm officially stuck. Even if I put, like, defense up, I'm just getting hit by, like, 1300 raw with Giga Fire. So two Giga Fires and any other attack will basically kill me. Wow. I... I mean, I'm glad that they wasted their turns healing. So, like, if we could somehow kill these four, we can win. But how do we do it is the question. Is there a way? No, because I, I need to somehow make a turn pass. Hmm. I am not sure, chat. I think I am genuinely stumped. I don't even think there's anything I could buy to get out of this situation. Oh, now their defense is low. Oh no, are we getting hit by the stat RNG? Oh my god, cut, chat, cut me a break. Really? We're getting, are we seriously getting stat RNG? Oh my gosh. Um... do about this. Wow, like, even if I, like, full buff, the fact that they can hit me like that is kind of insane. I guess... What could I do differently? I guess if I split my buff people, I could... Maybe I just send out, like, a lamb to the slaughter for damage? Like, what if I do this? Actually, let's put them on opposite sides. Let's make them work for this. So, I think I have to get one of them killed. I don't think there's an option here. But maybe I can... try to use Calvisham to up the number of attacks? But then I might get mega fired. I can't get mega fired. Try to do maybe this will no not recovering. Maybe this will work. I'm just trying to think like how I could ever possibly do enough damage in order to make any sizable dent in them without losing literally everybody. Maybe this is good enough. Almost. Die. Die. They did waste their turns. That means I might get some turns where I could just do some big damage. Man, the fact that the spawn even blocks you from Wing Cutter is so awful, chat. I don't even know what to say. Oh wait, these two are weak against fire. Ooh. Okay, so if I could survive one more turn, maybe I could do this? So I need another decoy. I think I could do it. The next turn, this one's dead, and now I just need one to... Sacrifice to the gods. Um... Not gonna feel great. I would like one that would take more than one turn to kill. Let's use Gonna Bite It. Let's also make them work for it slightly. Maybe this will work if I throw enough decoys. Die. Die. Oh, they killed each other for me. Maybe? Though now they're split apart, which is kind of annoying. But the problem is this leftover one. What do I do with this one? Hmm. I actually have a really stupid idea. I might go for it. How many? I only have six characters left. I think I thought of how to do this. But it's going to require some 
absolute shenanigans. Can I do it without losing everybody is the question. So I need Kirk, Imperameter, Chris, two mages, and everybody else for leftover. So I might have messed this up, but I think I have an idea. I'm going to reset. I have one specific idea. It's very risky. It might make it unwinnable, but I want to test it real quick. I think it's the right idea to lure them out, but I think I could do better. Perfect. This is exactly what I was thinking could happen. Oh, yeah, chat. Are you ready for some cheese? I'm going to hope this works. We're gonna we're gonna give a fun farewell and salute to the people that are about to die to this strategy. I'm gonna put the super people here because I know they won't move towards me. So technically, I just killed two enemies simultaneously. That's my thought process. Their stats are insane, but I think I can get through it. And then I do it one more time. I think that's the puzzle, chat. Die. <laughs> to no one's surprise, die happens. I die. And then I'll have six characters left over? I think this'll work. We're solving it in real time, chat. Character's so high leveled. Look at those stats. I hope I can kill this. I really hope I can kill this. Die. I should be able to attack plus one this one at least. We should be able to hit their weakness as long as they don't have super resist. This is really high. Well, I think this is the strat. It just, can I kill this is what I'm not sure about. But at least there's progress. It's something we can experiment and try to push through. I can't afford a single other character to die, or I don't think I can beat the boss that's up there. What I can do is... Need a parameter to do damage. Oh, you know what we can do. Maybe this will work. Because what can happen here is with attack plus one, I can actually multi-buff. Which is kind of important to be able to do. So I can have two buffs off of this, which is huge. That's 40%. I have three more, 60, 80, 100. I could get up to 100 right now. I think this will work. And that way we don't lose any of our mages. And I get to set up for a big turn. I think this will work. I have to kill this mage, though. Or else the plan won't work. That is not the right buff. I need to make sure I don't mismenu anything here. Alright, so now I'm at 100% magic. This is as strong as I will ever get with this team. We're gonna put in Parameter here. Your weakness is wind? Of course it is. <laughs> right, chat? Of what, what else would it be? It's like the de facto answer. In fact, we've leveled Omega Wind so much, I can actually hit them from here, which is kind of disgusting. Okay. We have a chance, chat. We have a small chance. If they don't move ever... Oh, now they move? Die. Oh, never mind. Die. Oh, man. I thought they weren't gonna move, right, chat? They weren't moving earlier. That sucks. I wonder what made them move. Is it because I killed all the other enemies? Is that why they moved? That really sucks. Okay, that puts a, a damper, a damp moment on the plan, I guess. Whatever you want to say. Man. So that should put us back at max. So it's like, I almost had a good idea. It, if they didn't move, this would have been GG. I would have killed them. It's not even possible to hurt this one. It is. And I afford to form them into one super unit. The problem is they could kill Chris. 
Man, if they just didn't kill Chris, I think we could just deal with Ishtar here. The Insano stats. So unfortunate, chat. Because it's like, I can't even leave them alone at all. Like, there's just nothing I can do. I can protect a Parameter for a little bit, but I don't know how he's going to survive Volcanus. Like, I can have Kirk survive with Rogue Nine for a while, but I don't have that many spare characters left. Damn. It's, like, so close. There has to be something I could do. Check one more time. Uh-oh, are we getting set RNG again? Wow. So, so, <laughs> let me get this straight. My strategy sometimes works, but they also have random stats. Cool. <laughs> Game, it's kind of not fair when they have somewhere between 400 and 1400 in a stat. It's kind of hard to form a strategy. Now it feels like I'm playing Fire Emblem Insane Difficulty again. Where it feels like I just gotta roll the dice until I can win. It's not the best feeling, I will say. It just I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, these guys being leveled is not inherently terrible. It's more that they move is the problem. Die. Die. Ooh, this time they both move forward. That actually saves me some time. So I just want to observe their behavior here. If they both move, I don't know what to do. Let's witness. If I throw this and then they move, then I'm out of ideas. And I'll need to think about it if we walk the pause for the night, because I can't think of anything else. So if they move here, it's over. Die. Die. I don't know if that matters witness. Oh? Where exactly do they not... Do they attack here? They do. Hmm. That is very interesting. Question. If I stay here... I can hit them with abilities. Okay, I think that could work. Okay. We have a plan. We know there's now a magic line they won't cross. Okay, so now with the new strategy, we're gonna lift these forward, throw. We need the other two to somewhat behave. And then after that, we could just play Max Distant Mage. And we have a lot of SP. So I can afford to take many turns to kill them. Pray. Die. Die. A little unfortunate that that happened, because that's going to delay us. The problem is making one of them, like, a god level. Like, that's what I'm scared of. I don't know if I can hurt them if they go too high. But they didn't cooperate. So there's also, like, AI RNG. Isn't that great, chat? You love AI RNG. Um... I don't really want to pull them, but I think I have to with how they positioned. Unless I kill myself here. I don't even know if I can hurt this. So yeah, we'll we'll reset as needed. Die. You moving is a problem. You shouldn't have moved. Alright, question. If I'm all the way over here, will you then attack me or no? Die. 
die. Oh, now Volcanus is moving. Chat. Oh. <laughs> uh. Is it? Why? Why are they behaving so differently? Am I hallucinating? They, they, Volcanus didn't even move a single time we tested this. What is going- is there AI RNG happening here? <laughs> Why are they not reacting the same way? I don't understand. I don't think I did anything different here. So, I mean like... This was fine. Die. Die. Okay, so the other one didn't attack this time. So I could merge them into one, but I'm worried that that's going to make them move up. I think this is still the right play. I don't think I should move beyond this step. Die. The other one not moving kind of sucks. Might be able to do this. Ah, oh, that was a sick diagonal throw. Nope, you've now moved. I don't know what causes that. So if I stay, how did we get it? How did that happen before? Do I need to go rewatch the VOD to see why this one moved? Die. Okay. I mean, this is fine. If this is the only one that moves... No, it's not fine, because we're within range. Unless I, like, super chuck him. No, and then Volcanus moves. Man, chat, it's just like... We're so close to figuring it out. It's like, I think the thing is, is if it's actually AI RNG. So if the bow user attacks, then the bow user will move. But if the bow user doesn't attack, the bow user will not move. Which is kind of insane. I don't, that really sucks. Because I don't think I have any control over the game giving me a good pattern. I think it's doable, but it's literally dependent on what enemy attacks first. Like, for example, if this bow user shoots me, I have to reset. If this bow user shoots me, I have to reset. Volcanus coming down by himself is probably okay. As long as it's just him. Die. But the problem is this Die. stuff. See how they're moving arbitrarily? This is a problem, because now I can't guarantee that they'll be in a position for me to throw them easily. So I might be able to do something like this. Maybe? And then pull myself backwards a tile? Maybe that'll work, because I should be out of range? Like, maybe this'll work, but I have to, like, conga chain it? I just want to see if there's a way to get around the RNG of the uh, AI going first. So, is there a way to pull myself out of the range of this nonsense? The chat can see I'm I'm doing my best to try to conga and see if I can put them just out of range. So now he's safe. Now I need to do the same thing to the other one. Will this work? And I get them to not chase me if I do this. So I'm now one line behind. For diagonal. Will they not move? Okay. We're, we're solving convoluted AI puzzles, chat, because the problem was that the, if this guy shoots, he's going to attack. 10,000 resistance, I cannot kill that. So unfortunately, sad RNG is real. 
But what we can try to do is we now know the limits. We should be able to attack from behind the line. We draw a line, and that's fine. We're going to leave somebody, like, here. I don't know if it matters. Actually, it doesn't matter. And now we have everybody basically alive except for two. So we need Kirk. Can Kirk hit from this distance? He can. Listen, I don't care how long this takes. I will chip them out, chat. Listen. Listen, I will do it with with absolute spite and vindiction. Okay, so now in Parameter can stay here as well, because they didn't move. I could take this opportunity to buff, but I could do some damage. Actually, let's see how much damage we even do. You're weak to what? Wind? Of course you are. <laughs> right, chat? Of course. How much do I do without buffs? All I need to know. I mean, like, we'll get there. It's very slow. Oh, but then they move when attacked. Oh, come on. So unfortunate. So the moment I hit either of them, one of them will come. I can still take advantage of this, but that means I can only fight one at a time. I'll try one last thing, and then I'm gonna go get some rest. <laughs> so, I think this is doable, but it requires absolute shenanigans to sidestep the AI, which is really, really unfortunate. So, if I throw these, they won't move right away. Is there any other way I can do it other than that? Because I think the problem is they just have so much health and they don't let me buff. I don't even think it's these front row ones that are a problem. It's these back row ones that are like absolute BS. <laughs> right, Chad? It's, it's their ability to just kill all my mages simultaneously that makes this like unwinnable. Because like a 250 by themselves is not enough to kill Kirk. Two 250s, it injures Kirk. Three will definitely kill. Can afford to lose two throwers here. I want to test one more thing. If I attack from further away, will they then try to move forward and hit me? That's all I want to know. That'll be my final test of the night. Huh? What are they going to do now? Die. Die. Okay. So far, this is the same. Unless they automatically move after X turns on top of that. I'm not sure. We're gonna figure out the map though. But most importantly, we can uh, chuck you way over here. So this strategy seems to work. We get rid of them, but then like, how do we finish? We have two neat columns. Uh-huh. Then if I don't do anything, what happens? They move and they move regardless. Okay. That's gonna be a problem. I mean this is their weakest form for sure. But the problem is they've leveled up to 730, so I don't think I could survive. Um, let's observe more AI behaviors, and I'll think about it for next time that we play. Did Kirk even hurt them? Barely. This Volcanus move. Volcanus moves Die. after four turns. Die. Oof. That is gonna be... 
I don't know, Chad. I don't know if this is doable now. If he decides to hunt me after four turns and they move after three, I don't know if there's anything I could do now. I don't know why their level is so much higher than before. We started at like 200 something at the beginning of this, maybe like 180 at the start of the chapter. They're now 310. Like this is just like such a ridiculous jump. I'm not sure if I can overcome this with the challenge. So I don't think there's a way to cheese it other than Kirk has to survive? Question mark. If only he could dual wield swords, that would solve all of life's problems. Is it possible for him to equip something to survive? I'm gonna try one more thing. It does mean my damage is a little lower on the mages, which kind of sucks. Is that if there's any character that could survive it, it would probably be Kirk's character. I don't have the ability to level up another shield character unless I do a, a bill and fail it on purpose. So I guess I could just... stats are crazy. Yeah, it's just these two are a problem. I don't even care about the archers. Like, they're a problem eventually, don't get me wrong, but, like, they're just not as awful as the other BS we fight. So little damage. Pray. Die. Die. So, like, Kirk can lure them in a little bit, but then he gets confused, so his character is, like, literally useless now. I could try to stack on them, but then I have to protect the mages. Like, is that what the plan is? Because Kirk can definitely survive. The problem is, can I get them in a way that I can just nuke them easily? They all have different weaknesses, is the problem. And with these guys moving next turn, I mean, I, I know at least he shouldn't be able to hit me this turn, but we know next turn he will. So it's like, how do I perfectly do like 4k plus to all of them without power leveling? I don't know if that's possible. Try to do something like this. But even then that leaves Chris open as well as in Parameter. I don't know if they could survive this damage. Like, maybe they could survive exactly one. Like, if these guys are both ice... And they're random element. Oh my gosh. Game, please. I was gonna say, if they were both ice, I actually have the perfect counter to surviving Mega Ice, because they have 50% ice resistance. But no, that is also RNG. I think with the RNG, I think that's a lock, chat. I, I don't think I could beat this now. I had hope before, but now spells are random, stats are random, that's a little too intense. I probably should have thrown that in a different spot, that's fine. I thought I was gonna counterattack. Damn, I didn't. So I could probably kill this one if I want to. Question is, for the remaining characters, can I get away with just like a couple of buffs here and there? Is it possible just to kill like two mages or something? And leave our other ones for later. That way, Chris. Both of these are weak to ice. And, of course, all of them have super resist for some reason now. Cool. Some random RNG. That is really brutal that they are that randomized every time you go to play. I mean, at least killing them ranks me up quite a bit.
Maybe? I mean, this is gonna... I'm definitely gonna have to think about this. This is definitely, like, a absolutely insane, crazy puzzle. I have to think about it. It might be doable. Didn't kill. Unfortunate. I think that's GG then. So they have random stats. Die. Die. They killed Chris, which is not the end of the run. I guess I could try to go a little further. But we need to do some damage somehow. I could put them together. It's like, I could see like the semblance of a plan. Like, I think chat sees it. Like, I just need Imperimeter to somehow survive one turn, and then we maybe can get through? Because I can use fire here. Oh my gosh, just off by like so little. Come on, seriously? At least I should be able to do this. Oh no, he's, his turn is over. Ah, uh, so unfortunate. Die. 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 I had a feeling the attack plus one would come back to bite me. Yeah. I can see where it can almost happen, but man chat, this is gonna require a lot of resets. Because think about it this way, I need the front row to be killable. And then I need to make sure that they don't have high resistance. These guys having high resistance doesn't matter. But the fact I get confused there is insane. So what are we gonna do, chat? I will I will see. We will try it again, but I think we have to stop here. We've we've given it enough attempts. I think Kirk is strong enough to survive it without the upgrade. An Imperimeter with the defense can survive a single hit from them, which is a criteria for maybe winning. <laughs> maybe. It's a big maybe. But yeah, that's it's so much RNG with how they move. It really sucks. I'm not going to lie. If they moved in a consistent manner, if they targeted in a consistent manner, if they attacked in a consistent manner, it would be a lot easier. But yeah, there's a lot of layers to it where we could just end up with all four of them have high resist and they just resist all like random elements or they could all be weak to the same thing. So I'm not really enjoying that level of RNG, but we'll give it another I think next time. So we'll we'll do we'll do attempts. So at least with the bonus session, we got literally all the way to the end. Um, we might consider looking at the items one more time. Because as I said before, we're like so close to beating it, but it's just surviving that is so brutal. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to buy more health up items, because I actually probably would have put one or two more on on some of our other characters. Just a bit unfortunate. But oh well, it is what it is when it comes to that. So let's pause here for now. We're going to give it several attempts, I think, later on. I'm not going to be available, I think, on Sunday, so we'll, we'll talk then. Maybe in the evening I might have an impromptu stream to try to beat it, but I, that's only if I'm in a good mood. We'll see. But either way, it's looking like the challenge has hit the ultimate roadblock, because this looks like, oh boy, there are a lot of things to dissect. So I think we understand enough about it to try to beat it, but oh boy, it's going to be it's going to be really brutal. So unfortunately, it's giving me kind of vibes of Fire Emblem Insane Mode, where enemies have random passives or enemies have random stats. And in this case, they have random spells, and they have random resistances, and they have random stats. So that's a lot of roulette, potentially, we have to get through, let alone Volcanus. We haven't even gotten to Volcanus, which again, if we could somehow not have like five people die immediately, if we'd be able to do, do, whatever, do whatever we want. Yes, that's a lot of RNG, unfortunately. I could try to go for one more promotion exam to see if there's something that helps at all. 
Um, but I don't think there is offhand. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check one more thing. I'm not sure if there's like an unlock per. Because if I have to, I'll do it. Because <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we really need from it. Yeah, I'm looking to see. Okay, so I see all the demon ranks needed. So if I want to get a bonus character, apparently I can hit rank 5 for those in the complete mode. Don't have to worry about cave war deals. We're not doing those. <laughs> I wish we could pass a weaker enemy build to make those enemies weaker. That would have been kind of nice. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything in here that would make a difference, other than if I triple sealed leading into that. Yeah, I think for the most part, we'd probably be able to get almost all the way to like the end of the exams. I just don't see anything in here that would help other than technically triple XP. I could try to unlock triple XP for each of the characters just to try to level. I mean, maybe that matters. Maybe. I, I guess it's worth a shot next time. I'll make a note. Just to see if we can get it. Triple XP promotion rank four. Because that might make a difference. Cause we're we're only missing a kill by like a hundred or two hundred. But if we somehow leveled and got slightly better stats, maybe that makes a difference. So we'll we'll try it. But yeah, I was I was not expecting them to hit 300. I was thinking they were gonna hit like 280 tops, let alone normal enemy being 280 and the boss being 300 something. So that is very unfortunate. So anyway, let's take a break here and we'll continue at some point. I don't know if it'll be a standalone session or whatever the deal will be. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And hopefully we beat it next time.